Mix de la pod. going on i can't even speak what's going on everyone welcome back to the channel welcome back to episode 27 of american waffle apologies for being a little bit late um i see people complaining again including sunshine it. who's tweeting about it he's like oh waiting for this it wasn't me it was vader das could tell you that and marshall could tell you that uh so we don't do that do that this. we were the first two here we were legit here five minutes before the time actually started so we were actually here uh but big up for everyone who's been waiting on us big up everyone who's here make sure you guys smash a like make sure you guys subscribe and i know you guys can notice that there's a couple people missing here uh i have some good news and i have some bad news uh let's start with the good news no tj, TJ today yeah <laughs> that's a massive dub for everyone uh now there's some bad news uh there's also no jacob today apologies but for good uh, reason but there's also one more good news the reason why jacob is not here and get ready again with with your soundboard uh marshall uh jacob is not here because uh his wife is in labor pedro yeah, young cool. min pedro young min vicario Udogi. Just wear where every time. Jacob is is on the way. Wing. Just wear where every time. <laughs> wait, wait, is that Jacob? Wait, do that again. No, that's Jacob's uh you know yeah, child. Wing, wing. Just wear where every time. It's gonna come out of the fucking womb like that. <laughs> wah, wah. I just noticed that. No, 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 that's epic. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, so it's it's bad news, but for the right reason. Jacob will yeah, be exactly. back whenever he's ready. But uh, yeah, I mean, family is more important, and I mean, quite literally, his wife is giving birth. So I, I, I really don't think we yeah. can be on his, uh, on yeah. his case for this one. But there's one more piece of news, and I don't know if this is good news or bad news. It, it might be good news if you're an Arsenal fan, and it might be bad news if you're an op, uh, <laughs> which there is a lot, a lot of people over here, and uh, we do have a TJ replacement. Um, TJ did give me a note for like a couple weeks that he won't be here. He's on a road trip. Uh, he could take another week if he wants. The longer it takes, the better. Uh, <laughs> but we do have a replace. <laughs> we do have a replacement. And depending on which side you're sitting on, is it sad? No, it's not sad. Uh, this guy uh, is actually in the United States. Yes, this is American Waffle. So we we yeah. only recruited someone else. He's in fact American 
Nigerian. He's been on the scene lately, and I remember seeing him on the terrace not too long ago. I was like, who is this annoying person that reminds me of Hamza? And that's because he had the bald thing. And I was like, wait, he's not actually bald. He was just doing these, these, these virtual reality stuff. But joining us today from Austin, Texas. Yes, that's where he told me he's from. So another Texan on the show. It is Dayo. How you doing, Dayo? Where is Dayo? He's over there. Uh, we see you. We see the shadow on the wall. <laughs> and no, you botched it because you're on mute. You. Oh. <laughs> oh, you botched it. God damn it. God damn it. We got to do that again. You must, you <laughs> I, you guys no <laughs> what's up what's up what's up welcome to the show Dayo. thank you for having me thank you for having me it's an honor oh, to be you. here i've been watching the show and uh I'm, I'm happy thank you for inviting me i get to come and roast some people here today so yes yes and this is why you're here but listen let me just remind you <clears throat> i know you're usually on the other side of um of the fence on this show but today listen the way you, matter the, the amount of stuff that you talk you're only one Listen, one takeaway from being in this beautiful cell. And I saw you last week putting some of us in the cell. But this week, I'm just reminding you, you could be in the cell in any moment. But listen, guys, this is the panel for today. Uh, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and check out everyone's channels in the descriptions. And uh, we're in for one hell of a show. Uh, so buckle up and get ready for it. And remember, guys, I don't like to remind people of the rules every week. You should know it by now. You can put your favorite content creator in the cell just do me a favor when someone is in the cell and you actually see them in the cell just know that you just have to outdo the super chat to get them out i hate when people sent like smaller currencies and they're like oh why did you not honor my my super chat well it's because you didn't really like follow the rules but you guys already know the rules and let's get this done with but guys uh, you already know what i'm about to say um okay. welcome vader what time is it I don't know. It's better time. Let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> You're so annoying. You're actually so annoying. You're actually so annoying. Hey, Big in the Vader. spirit of WrestleMania, you know what it's got to be, man. You know what it's got to be. What up? Did you watch WrestleMania, Vader? No, I didn't. I didn't watch it. Oh, watch okay. It. You said the spirit I watched, of WrestleMania. I watched the highlights. In the spirit of WrestleMania, I knew it was WrestleMania weekend. Okay, okay. I, I just thought you watched it. That's, you that's think he lives I... under a rock? Come that's on. not what I, I said. I, but I you have... watch it. He lives, he lives in Canada, man. That's that's just as good as living under a rock. Because you have people like oh, what? Canada produces some out. of the best wrestlers ever. What is this guy talking so we're about? Starting, yeah, yeah, so yeah, we're starting the, the, on YouTube. The, I'm the, the best there is. Edge, Edge is South Park. Canadian. South Park already already made it. Edge is Canadian. Um, what's his name? Jericho's Canadian. Kevin Owens is Canadian. Sami Zayn is Canadian. A lot of Canadians. Yeah, Obviously, the Hart Dynasty are all from Canada. Yeah, a lot of Canadians. The British Bulldog was that, Canadian. That, that actually deserves him to get into the cell for that, disrespecting Canadians. I, I'm going to lie. You, you already earned yourself a trip to the cell, Dio. But I'm going to leave that up to um, to the audience. People. I mean, you'll give them more than just this reason to put you in the cell, I'm pretty sure. Because we're going to be here for quite a while. And I'm not going to lie, you and uh, Vader's dynamic. Listen, I watched you guys on a couple shows already. It might get a little bit heated. But, I mean, let's just get this out of the way. We're not going to talk about them because obviously we don't have a Spurs rep. But out of respect for the Spurs fans that are here, yes, Spurs did pick up a, a, a win on the weekend. They are now officially in the top four ahead of Villa. Everything's looking nice for them. Yeah, I understand there's some concerns about the performances, some concerns about Bissouma, some concerns about other stuff. But listen, they're doing their thing. Big Ange is doing his thing. I know we usually cook them the minute they lose, but listen, we got to give them praise. They're winning now. Villa flopped. We flopped two games in a row. Well, three games in a row. And they're capitalizing on that. I think they're 11 points ahead of us. And I think we have a game. Wow. Yeah, they're 11 ahead of us. And we have a game in... in um, to play still, so uh, game in hand, but I don't, I don't think it's going to do much for their season. But if Jacob was here, he would have talked a little bit about it more, but he's not. So it actually gives us more time to talk, to talk about uh, my favorite topic, my absolute favorite topic of the weekend. Someone who went in this week with so much chest and they thought they were going to win this and that and they didn't win. 
That's I see you looking at me. Who the fuck are you talking about? I'm talking about Marshall because this <laughs> pussy told me oh, last no, game after he beat me. Oh, I can't wait for Monday. I'm going to cook on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Moving like macho, man. And listen, bro, just like what what, what happened to us on the weekend, uh, Marshall? We got hit by an earthquake and you got hit by <laughs> Sheffield, bro. Listen, that 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 <laughs> Sheffield. That was, that was give you that, that, that was a good one. Yeah. I'll tell you what, that earthquake, bro, might have been lighter than what Sheffield did to you guys because you guys got pumped by the worst team in the league. Yo, twentieth place, Sheffield. Man said, pumped, "How the you know. hell, bro?" For, hey, for Sheffield, yo. that's getting pumped. TJ, what the fuck uh, are you doing here, bro? You, Aren't TJ, you driving so I can somewhere? Come here and. And give you guys my sermon of truth because Staffy like is like absolutely that. waffling. No, man. Marshall, TJ, you're, you're absolutely truth, wasting our time. Well, before go I go ahead, to this, you're not going to tell the truth, but go ahead. Staffy, well, before go I go ahead. to this, I'm going to go to the cell. I just need to. Can, can you? I forgot to set up my timer again, uh, Vader. I apologize. Can you do it for I got me? You. Or one of you guys? Vader, before you I go to this, uh, I was just going to. Why do all of our cases, Marshall? Come on. See, TJ is supporting the channel. Technically, I can't be mad at him. I was just going to segue into it anyways before I go to the cell. Yeah. Chelsea, 2-2 two, two versus Sheffield. Absolute disappointment in your opinion, I'm sure. Oh, wait, wait, the wait, there was, there that was you... another result you forgot to mention that we haven't talked about. I, I was just saying that. You oh, okay. literally just cut me off. Sure. I just said sure. disappointing result right after you guys beat us the game before. But it means nothing. You know but why it means nothing now, Marshall? Before? You talk what about it when I'm in the cell. Why, why do you want me to talk oh, okay, too much? I'm okay. about to go to the cell. Because you mentioned okay. the score for Sheffield. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure you let I'll the people you, know. I'll, I'll tell the you score why. The, There's the always no point was. of getting a big win and then losing an easy game right after it. It really undoes everything that's the. That yeah, you, you would know about before. that, right? Because you beat uh, I mean, us you would know you, more you because lost. you're sitting what? You're sitting 11th? You Trust me, you know more. At least I beat. it twice this week. Who did I beat? I beat Burnley. I beat Burnley at Sheffield. Order the cell already. Actually, bro, let me go to this. I got I got to Amazon expedite the cell. Get the fuck out of here. Come on, Marshall. Lie to us. Get out of here. Now, hold Marshall, let me let me let me do let me do some justice here. Because he talked about you guys like you lost. Right? He talked about you guys like you lost. And the thing that's funny with Staffy is I trust you, Dayu. We had to talk about the we had to talk about United versus Chelsea, where he took the loss. Yeah. And both you and he took a draw this weekend. But he's here having all this chess trying to cook you. Now, I know it's Sheffield United. That's shameless. You, you should, shouldn't have drew, drew to them. Yeah, I get but it. But he was trying to talk like he had won. It's crazy. He's, yeah, he's, yeah. TJ. He just, Vado, 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 he did, he, Vado, Vado, he did you, he did, he, he did you a solid this weekend by, by drawing with Liverpool. He did you and I a solid by never trying trust a Canadian, bro. Never trust right? Canadian. And, and here and here you are trying to talk about here you are no, and here you are trying to talk bad about the man who did you a solid this weekend. Because if he didn't do what he did to Liverpool, you know that you're in the mud. You know you're already in the mud. Yeah, you're, you're not, not in the mud. Yeah, we could have done it too, though. Exactly. But you, Chelsea, I don't understand. Look, one player, your one midfielder, Caicedo, is the whole value of the entire Sheffield team. What's going on? <laughs> What is going on with you guys? Like, how uh, is it's not just like, fault. Come on. No, 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 no. Yeah, you guys, you guys are the most, you, you, are the most, you are the most, you are the most inconsistent, <clears throat> no. the most inconsistent, flip flopping, yeah. Willy, Willy, Willy Wonka, whatever type of wishy washy. Right, yeah, wish, I get like, it. Like, no, what no, is flip floppy, no, wishy washy. No, 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 no. Let's yeah, be, let's that. be realistic here. Let's, 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 let's talk about Chelsea. Let's actually talk about Chelsea. Because honestly speaking, man, it's not just a waste of money anymore. Maybe they should sell the entire club again. Can. <laughs> yeah, find you new owners. Can. Because, it, because it doesn't make any sense. You guys don't make, like, it, you, you, you pull off such a game against Manchester United. Of course, who are horrible this season. In great the game, last the two way. minutes. Great horrible. Great game. No, great game. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, when great I great game in terms of entertainment, but in not good like, yeah, football. Like, when Bale, I saw that, Bale. I was like, yo. Attack, it's very entertaining. It was good to watch. Yeah, I was like, yeah. yo, these guys have it in them. And then the next game, what is this? Well, here's the thing. Like, and, and I, this is what annoys me so much. This, what annoys me more than anything isn't the result. It's Pop that Staffy is right. I was ready to come here on such chess. I went to the gym. I bench press. I did some dumbbell press. I did my push-ups. I pumped up. I did my chest. 
I was ready to come in here with double D's, triple D's. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm, yo. I'm just saying I was ready to come on here with such chess because it has been seven years to the date, just about since the last time we beat Manchester United. So for us to get this in the way that we like in the way that we did to just rip it away from them was phenomenal all the shit that Staffy was talking about on Enzo what did Kobe Mainu do what did Kobe Mine Mine who Mine who man was strapped up on lock to Connor Gallagher Kobe meanwhile Mainu, Kobe Mainu, we had Kobe Mainu is a teenager and he's not a walk up yeah, he's not a fine. walk up winning 120 million he is, he's not a walk up winning 120 show. million billion trillion dollar yeah, yeah, sure. You can keep lingering so, the price tag on Enzo. No, no, no. At the you end of the day, he didn't pick his price tag. Be. I admit, I admit that we overpaid for Enzo, sure, but he is still a great player. He's not shit like what um, Staffy likes to say. We don't want to hear about United. We want to hear about Sheffield. Yeah. No, we, we'll get to Sheffield. Don't get me. I, I will get to Sheffield. But all this shit about Enzo, when Enzo was the the intelligent person that picked out the Cole Palmer was unmarked. And Mason Mount couldn't get there in time to block Cole Palmer's shot that was going on target and then is the winning goal. Cole Palmer, I don't need to sing his praises. You guys already know how great he is. Thank you very much, you Vader, say, you, for that you, 40 million uh, player. Very welcome. Did you say great? You're very welcome. Great. He's been a phenomenal well, player this yeah, but, season. Yeah, but Arguably he's good. player of the he's season. Good. You, said, you said great. Marshall, great. Yeah, he's great. Maybe Marshall, great? You're, you're, I'm not going to sit here and say he's world class. He's not Saka, Foden level. I'm not, not going to have those arguments. Come on. Like, yeah, he's, he's been no, phenomenal. He's, no, no, this is just one season. He's very good. He's been phenomenal this season. Yeah, yeah, he's great. He's great. He's great. Yeah, he he's is. He's been great he, for them. He, listen, he, he, it's, he, he, it, listen, I'm going to take it a season at a time. I'm going to okay. take it a season at a time. I'm not like other Chelsea fans where I'm going to say this kid's world class. I'm not like that. And, you know, going back to the United game too, give give my res give respects to to Enzo. That's that's what I want to say. Enzo Marshall. with the key pass and all that. But hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna get to the the, the Sheffield game. No, I, 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 I I don't even want to talk about that. I'm just saying you're, you're giving thanks to the wrong guy. I mean, I'm amazed. No, that, Cole that you, Palmer. I, no, I, I, no, not even Cole. Because because the man that you really should be thanking in this situation. The, no, allow absolute. me. The the, no, the man that you should finish, let's go ahead, yeah. the man that you should be really thanking in this situation. I swear to God, if is, you say Pochettino, I'm gonna murder. No, him. no, it's Anybody Scott again. McTominay. Is Scott oh, okay. McTominay? Because if you look at that <laughs> shot, if if you go back and you actually watch every angle, of Onana that shot, was going to block it. Yeah, oh, it was going right at Onana. McTominay's yeah, yeah. in. McTominay isn't even around a a, a a blue shirt. He's literally in no man's land. It's not defending. He's not doing anything. He's just standing still. And what does he do? Rather than getting out of the way, like any any smart player would do, because you have to trust your goalkeeper and you don't want to have some stupid deflection, he goes for the ball. He deflects it. And it goes directly into the net. So Scott McTominay is really the man that that, that you should be thanking, not Cole Palmer. Marshall, you absolutely waffled while while I was in the cell. You want us to give no, credit no, to not. Enzo. You're so see, this is how obsessed Enzo had a you key are. pass you to Malagusto, who cut inside to Connor Gallagher's shot, and then he was the one that got the assist for Cole Palmer's game winning goal. But yeah, he gets no you respect. You will sit here and whenever say he, this. Whenever we lose, is, if we if if he was. In Arsenal's team and Arsenal are where they are right now. Not to say Arsenal need him, but he, they could definitely fraud. they could definitely You're take make use fraud. of him. Because yeah, my would player be is not in Arsenal team. No, no, Kai no, no, Havertz no, right now, Kai Havertz right, right now had the same exact hey, season no, no, he had no, at Chelsea no, no, no. two seasons ago. Yet no, no, over here, Sky no. Sports saying that oh, Mikel Arteta has reinvented this player. It's 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 a complete Chelsea agenda. It's a complete Chelsea. No, 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 stop it, stop it. Eat a dick, TJ. What what Chelsea agenda are you talking about? Kai Havertz did not have did not have this. He's not having the same season he had two seasons ago with Chelsea. Yes, he has. Statistically, nope. he's doing the same numbers. The nope. same purple patch he had at nope. freaking uh, Chelsea two seasons ago. Nope. Wait, wait, I was Dai, Dai, don't stand, to man. Don't allow him to deflect because yeah. I know what this guy's doing. This, with Dai, I'm listen, not trying to This guy's deflecting. Listen. I know. The, hold on, hold on. Let, let, me just, let me just re bring this back to where we should be because mm -hmm. you took advantage of me being in the cell to talk about my guy. Now you want to sit here and say, oh, if Enzo was in this Arsenal team, nah, 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 nah. My guy's playing next to Bruno Fernandes and McTominay week in, week out, and he performs, and I never yeah. use that excuse. I actually always say that he's the best performer in that midfield, in a shit midfield. I could easily sit here and, and say, imagine Vader had him in his team. And what did he do imagine against Chelsea? Imagine Pep had Maynou. What Maynou did he do would literally Chelsea? become world class in a few years. What did Maynou okay. do against okay, Chelsea? Wait, okay, okay, hold on, hold on. 
though both of the midfields in that Chelsea game were absolutely crap. If you're going to sit here and because you guys scored two goals in the last two minutes, which basically turned the, the, the game over his head, and now you were, you were, were um, what's it called, crediting the midfield, then you're absolutely being shameless. Because if it wasn't for the, for the last two minutes, you would be saying we played shit. But now because you guys scored two goals in the last two minutes, oh, now all of a sudden Enzo had a good game. Okay, oh, Caicedo no, Enzo had a had good, a good game. game. He was oh, one Gallagher the, no, had a good game. I did not say game. Caicedo. I did not say Caicedo. I did not say Caicedo. And all I said about Gallagher See, is that he locked up Mainu. It takes that level of player to lock up Mainu. I'm no just one, saying. No, 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 no. Mainu. No. Not a Mainu. single person locked up Mainu. 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 Got, Mainu. Listen, Mainu got outran in a good midfield that was pressing well. And this has oh, been so our issue good. every year. I'm sorry? Now the, now the midfield was good. No, 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 no. Off the ball, your midfield pressed us. On the ball, your midfield wasn't doing anything. This is why you were losing. This is why you actually gifted uh, us goals. You guys, uh, none of the midfields in this game were good. And I said that before we even came on the show. Uh, you yeah, watched the second here. half, you watched the second half of that match whenever had. Chelsea had the ball. Enzo was dictating that game. Enzo Bro. was pinging passes, finding create, creation, but no one wants to talk about it. The guy gets robbed of key passes all the time, but no one talks about it. You guys literally sit here and tell me yeah, Chelsea that, missed that, that, multiple okay, opportunities no, 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 no. at a time. But no, this, no, no, is the, this is the end of the end so of the agenda. Okay, let's, so, so let's go back to the game that we should be talking about. Because if he's so good at dictating games, explain to me why you guys went to Sheffield and you didn't dictate the play. Can you explain that tell to you. me? You know what? I could tell you. Oh, now that she's I will explain. Out. There we go. No, no. I will explain. One, we've been making a lot of defensive errors. You saw and you took advantage of it. In the United game, which, you know what? This is what I mean. I, it, this game oh. robs me of discussing Manchester United's high and that lows, all right? And, and now I can't Ooh. sit here and and waffle about and, and just banter Staffy. Now I have to take okay. an L, and I'm going to sit in the cell, and I'm going to chaunt Staffy. Well, mantra. you're not in the cell. You, TK you is not putting mantra. in the cell. TK is just okay. saying that Marshall ends with a fraud just like your takes. And DJ is saying, okay, that's some shame about your club. I don't know why Das is talking about that. Uh, I mean, DJ is talking about Das and his club. Very I, I wish I wish I can be sitting here shameless and talking about a win against mm. Sheffield and a win against United. Except I'm I'm back here doing my mantra just like Staffy here. Oh, oh, oh my God, bro. No. I'm a joke. Repeat after me. Oh my God, bro. We're, <laughs> we're a joke, bro. We're a joke. 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 Stop here, repeat after me. We're a joke. We're a I already joke. said I love yeah. that game. TJ, TJ, I you're a member, so you're not allowed to put anyone in the cell because you're a member of American Waffle. Hold that. Thanks for the two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't send one. Yeah, he did. He said Das in, but it doesn't matter because because you're a waffler. Oh, he said and you can't do that. I didn't you even can't do that. that. So thanks for the two bucks. Oh, mm -hmm. hope, hope oh that bro, you're in. Straight. I was oh, in the cell, so are you. If you want me to discuss, if you want me to discuss the Sheffield game. See, well, and and go into just, detail. Before, before you go, in, before you go into Sheffield, I was going to answer Dio's questions before. Let me, let me, let me, let me clear your, let me clear your waffle about about Kai. Your your purple patch. <laughs> no, it's not. About? <laughs> yeah, no, 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 now's not the time. No one cares yeah, about no, no. Kai. Have to clear, no, no, listen. Hey, no, no, hey, save Kai to the Arsenal hey, talk. Well, no, 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 let me just wait. wait okay, go ahead. Vedo, your third. Stay, stay in your third position. Let me talk to number number eleven. Let me talk to number eleven. Number eleven. Um, on number twelve, I don't know which one you are now. Your purple patch for Kai that right. you're talking about two seasons ago, well, he, he scored eight goals and three assists in the whole season. Right now, he's on nine goals and five assists, and there's seven more games to go. So he's not, it's not the, you're not, it's not the same. Wow, one goal and two more he's, assists. No, 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 Big no, no, no. But, but seven more games to go. Aga, please, if you hmm. went to school and you count seven, count seven, let's count it together. Say one, <laughs> two, three. Two, it's but this is the thing is that is four, that is that five, worth the price tag you guys paid for him 60 mil for that much to for him to be your striker it's not hold on, let's hold be on, realistic hold on, hold on, hold he's on, not on. reinvented as a player he's hold still on, the same on. mid player let me let me ask you a question rasmus Ho um Hoyland, how much did they pay for him yeah i don't respect Hoyland no, no, that no, much no, no, either no, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold but on. he's young he has oh. doesn't have experience in a premier league guy, yo. In the Fernandez, how much did you pay for him can i say how much that guy's a joke all the people all the people that you have paid that you have paid for how much did you pay for them and the truth about oh, yeah. it is, in this current market that we're talking about now, 65 million literally is right around what most comp clubs would ask you for. I understand. The, the market is the market. The market is the market. Like, you guys went and bought Gravi Gra Gravio, Labi Gavadio, Labi uh, Give Me All, and you're still in third place for 107 million. He's in the... How much do you, you You're right. You said it. The market <laughs> is the market. 
But exactly. for for not- half the price that you paid for Kai Havertz, I have a Nicholas Jackson that's basically on the same exact stats. Nope. Yeah, you could look it up. He's basically on the same know. exact I stats. I can't, I can't do that. If I look up Nicholas Jackson stats, it's 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 it's, 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 it's <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I'll do it for you in a minute. I just want to explain the Sheffield game, right? Listen, you guys explain have seen me. Uh, you guys have heard me say it. And we could talk. We, we can integrate the United game into this. Because, yes, there's errors, right? Young players are going to make errors. It happens. I understand that. And that's the frustrating thing about this team. But it gets to a point where if we're making these many consistent errors, where we're, we're averaging two goals conceded per game... Is it really the players at that point, or do you have to look at the system and the structure that the manager sets up there? Brother, you're the, playing you Sheffield. At, you should win dude, if Dio was your manager. I know we're playing Sheffield. I know we're playing Sheffield, but these players don't know what they're doing on the pitch. They have no direction. There's no system. And then when you look at how we're set up in defense, dude, we're all over the place. Look at the, the second goal that we conceded to you, the Bruno header. That doesn't happen from an error. It happens from being completely disorganized in the back. That's on the manager. That's not on the players being inexperienced, the players making errors. Players were all over the pitch, all over the place. There's no structure. And the same thing goes for the midfield. There's no structure in the midfield. So, yeah, we're going to concede goals because our manager can't find a system, can't find a structure, can't keep organized. You can't can't say... No, yeah, you can't they, just I'm say tired, I'm, I'm tired, bro. You can't say that we This guy's complaining about say, a system against Sheffield, bro. Oh my god, bro. Sheffield it's, it's true. We don't have Sheffield. structure. We don't have system. We're oh, this talk, shit because listen, we're talking about Sheffield. It's See, completely the two worst, the two worst the two worst teams in the last probably maybe fifty to hundred years, the history of it's probably Sheffield Wednesday and Sheffield United. They're probably I worse saw, than Derby mm-hmm. County. Yeah, Remember I saw, that Derby I, County I saw, team? Yeah, yeah. I saw it. I saw a documentary that actually mentioned that. So I'm trying to understand. I, even if you didn't it's have the a coach, manager. No, no, no. I'm even if saying. you didn't have a manager, if you didn't oh, have a manager, are you saying that are you saying those boys are not good enough to go out there and beat Sheffield even if you didn't yes, have a manager? Yes, yes, they are. But here's the thing. So, 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 they can so, only do so much an individual brilliance, Dio. That's the thing. It, they only it only takes you so much because that's what the team is dependent on. There's no structure, there's no system. And I to a certain extent, I don't think this team is made for playing the way Pochettino wants to play, which I think now I'm finally identifying he wants to play a more expansive counter-attack style of football, pure attack, not so much defense. He doesn't have the players durable enough to do it and all that and this and that. But I, I go back to the manager because when you look at the goal that we conceded, Pochettino brings on two players to come on during that same set piece. It's Badia Shiele and Cassidy. They, he brings them on because they're tall. And for the set piece, what happens? Body of Shield misses an initial header. Then you have Cassidy that concedes the cross. And then we let the goal in. The two players we brought in, the subs that we brought in, even against United, when we're 3-2 down, this man is bringing two defenders on? Are you trying to defend the rest of the game? You're not going to defend your way to a win. 0.27 XG, and you're sitting here making all these excuses. It's the shame, manager. Marshall. There's no structure. There's Marshall, no system. Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. No, no, have no. some you shame, bro. You, you have a 200 million uh, a pound midfield that's getting out. 27 XG, but you know the one underneath it says I'm right. So listen, I think pe- the people who know they understand. It, it, Poch no, isn't no, the guy. No, no, no. You can't. You can't put. I, nobody's saying Poch is the the guy. But at what point do you hold your players accountable? That's what at I'm what trying point, to say. Listen, at what point do you sit down and say, look, mm-hmm. first and foremost, right? Even if you look, if if I was on that team, <clears> and this is Sheffield, I don't care how the manager set me up. At some point, I'm going to pick up that ball, dribble seven Sheffield players, and score a goal, and just walk back and and, and take the, go back into the locker room at the end of the day and say mm-hmm. we did what we did. Like at some point, your players have to step up, and we're talking about players that you guys have bigged up so much. Like mm-hmm. I've I've heard when Lavia comes back, I'm like, oh, is he still? In, have you guys sold him, or is he still at Chelsea? By the way. No, Love he's that. he's only played thirty five minutes and he's at Chelsea. Oh, okay. Yes, he's okay, injured. Yeah, that's good. So, which so again, I, maybe the manager's fault because of the training. And this is and this is what where where I get tired of this whole because we, we saw it with Villa. Gerard had Villa. He had a bunch of these players and he did nothing with them. Look at what um Unai Emery did just with a few changes and a few additional players. Look at where Villa is. That's what so, I'm saying with no, Chelsea. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. So my point is this: I'm I'm this, I, I agree with you to mm. a certain extent. 
your coach has to, your manager has to be held responsible. But these players that you guys have are crap. But hold, yeah. that's what I mean. Yeah. That's they that's where crap. I like. That's where I disagree, Dio. Because yeah. how can you say? How can you say? Like, let's take for example, uh, Staffy, Casemiro, right? I find it so hard to believe that Casemiro last season was your best player. Casemiro the season before, world class CDM. I wanted him in my team. He's one of my favorite CDMs in the game. And now this season, what he's turned into, I I don't think that's just Casemiro. I think that has a lot to do with Ten Hag. I agree. And the same thing with Caicedo. Because like you could sit here and say Caicedo is shit. I understand. Against United, he was horrible. Against Sheffield. Terrible. This guy is asleep. This guy is literally in this game. I can't find the sound. Dang it. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Asleep. Windows shut down music. Dun, 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 dun. He's done. But again, this player was looked at by so many teams at Brighton. Why is it that at Brighton it worked so well, but here at Chelsea it doesn't? It's not the player. It's not to just a certain the extent. Like, it's not the it's player. Not, it's not just we already manager, agreed though. with you. But yeah. like me and Dario has... trying to tell you it's, it's a mix. You don't want to hurt uh, hold certain players accountable. That's what we have an issue with. When you were go, talking about the United game, what does the manager have to do with Caicedo passing as the ball? It has nothing to do with it. What does the manager have to do with the Sassy making individual mistakes? What does the manager have to do with Betty Ashili not winning headers? When he's bringing mm-hmm. in a tall team so he can see the game out at 2-1 and just box it then. These are the things that I'm talking about. There's so many. Bro, I'm sorry, bro. Under no circumstances should my 200 million midfield should be done by Hammer, Osborne, and whoever that, that third guy is. I don't even know how to say his name. Like, bro, it's a joke, bro. It's a joke. You guys talking about the quality <laughs> that they sure. possess it's personally. A yeah. <laughs> it's a, I'm a joke. I'm a joke. No, seriously, bro. That's what they should <laughs> no, be I saying. I get you. Because, like, I, at I, the end of the day, like... This, and I said this early in the season. I said mm-hmm. Enzo was going to suffer from what Pogba suffered from. Because Pogba's yeah, yeah, yeah. our most expensive player. And mm-hmm. when these players don't get GA, even though it's not their job to get GA, people judge them 100%. a lot. But at the end of 100%. the day, Pogba used to have a lot of good individual games, even though the structure mm-hmm. was shit, the manager was shit, and his teammates were shit. I am not seeing that from your expensive players. Bro, no, n- n- like, I'm not, I'm, I'm swear, I swear I'm tired of talking about this. A hundred, uh, not a hundred billion, uh, one billion spent on a team that can't beat Sheffield. And we're sitting here and blaming one yeah, individual. Pathetic. Like, we can't be no, doing that, bro. But the reason I'm doing that is because, like, I get it. But at the same time, even though against Sheffield, Connor Gallagher was shit, it wasn't Connor Gallagher that decided to put himself at left wing. It wasn't Cole Palmer, who was also shit that game, it, it, even though he got an assist. It wasn't Cole Palmer who made the decision to play in, in the number 10 or the false nine. Like, these are managers, like, again, Thiago Silva. Uh, and mind you, all these players, regardless of where they're playing, they should still be able to beat Chelsea. I, I 100% agree. Like, the players sh- should be doing better. But that's what you have with inexperience. Like, with inexperience, you have to cater to them to a certain extent. You have to baby them. It, it sucks to say, but, like, we just don't have the manager that sets them up to baby them. But after so many errors and how bad we are defensively, we are averaging two goals conceded per game. That is horrible. Absolutely horrible for any top side. We're yeah, but- never going to compete. But uh, all I'm saying is just to, to, to close out on uh, my point here is after a while of so many errors, you got to look at the structure and how this manager is setting these players up. And I don't think he's setting them up properly at all. Marshall, at all. Marshall, the problem is that your statement right there is an oxymoron, right? Because if you actually look at the goals that Chelsea are conceding, eight times out of 10, it's an individual mistake. It's Caicedo making a, t- a lazy pass infield. It gets intercepted. Th- just look at the goal. Just look at the equalizer against Sheffield United. You had four defenders on on the six yard line and somehow Sheffield are able to loft a ball loft a ball over those four players and then it falls to a defender who has enough time to let the ball bounce twice so that he could hit it perfectly and Petrovic doesn't even chase down the ball there are so many individual mistakes in that play alone Mark, talking about, 
a, a volley from five feet that they let bounce twice does. without does. With, Marshall without doesn't care. But contest. why does it keep but, happening? That's but just where players, I'm doesn't care. Because all he all he knows is the is, players is make the ball. same mistakes. The players yeah. make the same mistakes over and over and over and, and, over, and, over, and, and over and over. And it's and Pochettino's fault for playing them. But ultimately speaking, could you I mean, make an argument? Choice. Could you make an argument that there are times in which maybe a system would provide a little bit more balance? Sure, one hundred percent. That's what I'm getting at. But 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 does that mean that these players are not going to continue making the same mistakes? Because to be honest with you, if a player continues to do the same thing over and over again, there's no there's there's no rule of thumb. There's nothing that we can point to. There's no case review that we can say that in a different system, all of a sudden this kind of this is going to work. Because more often than not, it's the opposite. It's a player is really good in this system, and then he goes and he shits somewhere else. It's not a player is mm -hmm. really bad in this system, and then he goes somewhere else and he's really good. If a player makes mistakes, that's because the player is making the mistakes. I cannot blame Pochettino for a majority of these chances conceded because his players are making bonehead mistakes that have nothing to do with the but system. I feel like part of what you guys are doing, right, is you're 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 taking that instance of these players making mistakes and thinking about it in the context of your own teams. Like you see your teams play well, play well week in and week out. Put on good shifts, put on good games. Chelsea have and played then, well though. Look at the amount of chances they create. That that, that game, but chances created doesn't mean you played well. The game against United, it was a horrible game. We so, won, so, but we that's both an anomaly like shit. So, so Marshall, Marshall, so Marshall, so Marshall, literally, Marshall, the definition of, of playing well is but, I mean, creating a lot of. Marshall, chances. at the beginning of season, Chelsea was creating the most chances. So let me explain something to you. They had the most big chances missed, yeah, though, you remember? Yeah, no, no, exactly. Yeah. No, Attacking-wise, but that's the thing. Marshall, you guys Marshall, are talking Marshall, about Marshall, our attack. Marshall, our attack Marshall, isn't the issue. Marshall, hold let hold let Dayo get his Listen, point. I'll let you answer, and then we'll move on to the next one. Pochettino mm -hmm. set you up as a, team, as a team that is actually creating these chances. He set you up to create them. Why don't you just put them away? At this point, it's the player's fault. You're creating and missing out all these big chances, and you're saying, it's, what do you want Pochettino to do? Run on the pitch and kick the ball in the net himself? Like you can blame the you can blame the manager to a certain extent, but when you're when the goals that you guys have considered, eight out of ten of them are individual mistakes. They're not they're not just like open play goals that someone just scored against. It's just close this guy down, dude. Even if I don't play left back and you put me in left back and you you tell me the basics, close your man down. Don't give them the space to shoot. Player is coming at you and you're back you're backtracking. You give him the space to shoot and he scores and then you say it's Pochettino's fault. The basics of it, like, th this is why I said your players are crap. Because even on the very basic thing that they should be able to do, they're not doing it. And for the price you guys paid for these guys, they need to sell Chelsea again. I'm serious. They just need to put it back they're, on the market. Look, and they need a, but bro, they need another listen, listen, one. Listen, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me say a little bit. Let me say a little bit. Because I really, I really wanted... Yeah, yeah. Let me close I really wanted a balanced conversation. Because Marshall got the win versus United. And that should have been an opportunity where he's, he's like, you know what? As much as I crashed on Poch, as much as I criticize him, we played like shit, Vader. We were set up. Pardon me. We played like if shit. If you if you look at how, if you look at how the team performed, it, if you want to say that they played like crap, look at all the performance. If you want to look at all the all the stats, how they compared, you guys deserve to win that game. Even though it came came out late and came out kind of jammy, you deserve to win that game. Yes, you can find criticism of how the players played, one hundred percent. But to crash it on Poch, that was not the game for it. Now this game, it's Sheffield United. It's there's player accountability, there's player performances, and it's also what they do to result in in giving up these goals. Like Marshall, you gotta pick. You gotta pick when you crash it on Poch. Not every win, draw, and loss is on Poch. Now, what happens moving forward? It's gonna be interesting to see because you guys have nothing to play for. Yes, you have the FA Cup. I think you guys will show up against us. But I don't think you're there's you're not cracking into the top six. That's bye bye. So let's see yeah, fun, let's see what these players are made for. Let's see Vader, their they chance play for your to get bag. Europe. Their chance to get into Europe was after beating us because they had a game in hand. Yeah, and if they won their game, I think they would have been two points behind us. Yeah, and then they just we go have two games Sheffield. in hand yeah. still. Let me let me let me we have two games in hand. It's at 44 points and top six United is at 49. There is still a chance. You have two games. You have one game in hand because we, no, still we have, have two have games one. in hand. I'm looking at it right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, but we have. Oh, one no, 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 no. You're right. You're right. So right, we right. only played one more game than you guys. 
So you would have had a chance to catch up by two points. Yeah, that's good. We that's went good. against Liverpool and you went against Sheffield. Mm-hmm. We thought we'd have zero. You thought you'd have three, but we both left with a point. There, that was your got, best there's chance. Got, there's got to be a point where there's player pride, man. I mean, there's got to be a point where there's like, like player pride. The, the, the season that Arsenal went unbeaten, there were four more games left, and the team had already oh, won. No, 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 no. Hear what I'm saying. No, hear what I'm saying. Hear what I'm saying. There were four channel. more games to go. Four more games to go, and they had already won the league. They had they had won the league. They didn't have to go and win those four games. They didn't have to. It was unnecessary. I still think that what that Invisibles was is unnecessary to me because I was like, look, the season was done. Mm. It was unnecessary, but there was. Wait, can you use this as a segue to go to Arsenal? Can, can was, we use this as a yeah, segue yeah, to go to Arsenal? Can I, I, want can to I about close out on because I, I do need to rebut a few points. Can I close out yeah, on that? There's player, okay, but, there's, there's player but pride. Gotta hurry level. And you guys, okay, you guys, you, your players don't have that player pride because man, I don't care how the coach I sets you up you. after after setting yeah, you up first game, second game, third game, fourth game, fifth game, and you're not getting the results you want. At some point, Cole Palmer at some point had player pride. He would carry that team on his head. But I'm sure they tell him, no, play the same. Play exactly what I tell you. Okay, But, dude, if we're not going to get the three points, I'm not going to play the way you asked me to play. Sell me in the summer, but I will score in every game. When when, when does Enzo Fernand get up and say, I'm going to do this? I'm, I'm going to carry this team. When When is it that Caicedo says, you know what? Forget this nonsense. Let's do this. You that's, know? That, it's, that, it's, that's yeah. the thing. Like, you guys speak on this. But it, the reality is that for the most of the season, Enzo and Caicedo have been doing a large part of the labor. But it's just, unfortunately, the structure isn't there for them to succeed. You guys rag on about my attack and my attack and we create chances and all that. I get it. But guess what? Our attack and goals haven't been an issue this season. It's the defense. It's the lack of defense. It's the lack of structure back there. It's the lack of stability. A, a, a good manager can do both can have a good defense and also get some attack in there. So this season, our attack's been fine. We've been we've been making goals. We went into Sheffield. We went in aggressive. We scored a goal in the first six minutes. We did the same thing against uh, Man United. We scored a goal in the first uh, 14 minutes, two goals. So our attack is there. It's just we need to be able to be solid and have a structure so that so, Enzo's not left alone on an island, or I mean, Caicedo's not left alone on an island. Enzo's not drifting off to left wing. I mean, one, we don't one have thing before, our right thing. back in the center back and all this and that. It's just the whole mess. All right, all right, so, Mark, I mean, Mark, I'll end Mark, on that. Okay, Mark, and also, one more thing, Bader, before you go and, and we can conclude this. You keep mentioning the price tag. Again, there's a reason why these players were priced at a, such a high value, is because they were highly sought out. These players were good at some point. Before okay. they came into this club, right. they were good. They come into this okay, club and they're point. shit. And Pochettino okay. came into this team and this project knowing full well what he was getting into. So, okay. at the end of the day, this, it's on him. One, okay. one thing, one thing. Where's the sum you need it, bro? Oh, my your, God. Your billion, your billion spent on this squad. What more do you need to buy, Marshall? Uh, a new manager. Give me a manager That's first, it? and then let the manager identify. You're taking this squad, new manager, and you're, you're out of eleven. Vader, I'm not Vader, recycling Vader, Vader. the whole squad yes. again, okay. Vader. We Vader. just rebuilt Vader. the team. Guess, guess, All he guess, wants guess. is a manager. Staffy, I just want it on record. All he wants is a manager. He believes in his players. Cool. It's. Uh, I said uh, all see, I want is a manager, and let the manager then the new manager then decide what the club needs. Listen, this is why exactly I'm, I'm saying what I'm saying, and we need to move on. But I just think it's crazy when you look at this team and all you can think of is, I need a new manager. Listen, we're going to leave it to the audience to let us know what they think. Let us know in the Sounds comments. Sounds very what you similar think. to you know, is it, know. Is it pitch a t- You love doing this thing every week. But and you brothers, compare to United, and we're not my even brothers, close. Oh my God, my I have, brothers. I have oh my just God, bro, we're more a We're a joke. We're a joke. I have much more reasons to say why I want my, my manager out versus yours. At least you mm. see a style of football, which you don't like, but at least you see a style. Of <laughs> but okay. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Then I guess you, you didn't play that well against us and your midfield wasn't that oh. cool. Which goes against what you said. Enzo was good. Well, Enzo leave it up fun. to the audience. Then let us know. Let us know in the comments. Are you on Marshall's side? Is it is it Poch? Is it, are you on our side? Is it more of the players? Let us know how you would fix this Chelsea team. Because I'm not going to lie, this club looks finished. But anyways, let's just move on to another game. And I wanted to start with with I, Arsenal. I mean, talk about Arsenal, but but Thayer left. What what? Who who did you pay off, Marshall, to not be sent in the cell though? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. The audience wanted to hear what no, you had to you know, say you, about Chelsea. Listen, the thing is, you guys think I'm waffling, but I'm out here cooking breakfast. You are, and the people are oh here eating God. and taking in. Listen, I am holding it's, down. I am holding church. 
The people are listening it's, and the people crazy. understand I am not waffling. No, no, no. I'm not gonna lie, you waffled waffling. so much today. I can't believe that you're out here. Hey, I listen, actually man. can't believe it. I am actually disappointed in the audience. Yeah, once. you got put in the cell before I did, and that's because yeah, of TJ. Enzo takes. Because TJ, the, oh my God! Speaking of this pussy, <laughs> look at this. Oh, bro, you had some good points. Shut up, <laughs> Thank TJ. you, TJ. Honestly, bro, TJ, just shut up. Anyways, Dalia said he needs a minute, so I guess let's go to the other winning team and let's talk about City. Guys, we're gonna save the United Liverpool segment for for um for a little bit later. We'll, we'll cook. We'll cook. We're still gonna cook um Das a little bit later. So don't go anywhere. Can't cook me. But let's, Can't cook but let's me. Uh, sh- shut up. You deserve to get cooked the most because of Darwin you Nunes. You can't every fucking cook me, Nure, bro. You every time Darwin Nunes does something, I'm living life. I live, life. I live right in right California. Away. I live in. Ca- I'm fucking. I'm enjoying my life. Bro, you can run away all you want. I'll pull, I'll go on a plane can't and I'll be there me, in six baby. hours. I'll be there in six hours. I'm right fucking here. I'll be there in six hours and I'll cook you in person. But let's okay. let's go to a, a winning team. And I want to use this also as a chance to preview the Champions League. Obviously, when Dio comes back, we'll do the same thing for Arsenal. But Vader, a uh, good victory on the weekend. Uh, convincing victory against Villa, which a lot of people said when they were looking at all the games that are left. Everyone was looking at potential banana slips for everyone. Aston Villa mm-hmm. was one that was mentioned because all of you guys have to play Spurs and Villa. Obviously, th- there's a couple teams that had to play United, Brighton, blah, blah, blah. But Villa was a common one, and you guys brushed them aside with ease. What was it? 4-1? Uh, 4-2. What, what, Staffy, no KDB and was no it 4-2? in the lineup. I believe so. Oh, no, uh, my bad, my bad. Uh, Crystal Palace was 4-2. What, wait, wait. They, they won a couple games. I apologize. They beat Villa, and they beat Palace. That's why I got confused. Obviously, Foden had a hat-trick. Palace back on the score sheet. Kevin De Bruyne is back on the score sheet. Talk to me, Vader. How you feel about these two back-to-back wins? And you have Madrid tomorrow, if I'm correct. I mean, that's not they an do. easy game, is it? Yep, yep. I, I mean, a lot. Lots, lots happened since we last talked, Staffy. I mean, Aston Villa, a lot of football Crystal one Palace. Week. Tough, tough games, tough matchups. Because, again, everyone was doing their, let's look at the fixtures. Let's see where City, where see Arsenal, where see Li- where Liverpool can all drop points. Got to respect Aston Villa. Got to respect Unai Emery. He's doing he's doing a really good job at Aston Villa. I think I think despite some of their setbacks, they're gonna be a problem next season. And they got they got good funding, and he's obviously a very good manager. Crystal Palace has been one of those bogey teams for City. When Patrick Vieira was there, he would cause problems for us. He had Gallagher cooking over there. That's why Chelsea brought him back into their a squad. A few people predicted but, you guys would slip against them. A few people said it. Yeah, there was a lot of there's a lot of you know what, but there was a lot of like like hopes, like a lot of hearts were hoping for City to drop points versus Crystal Palace. You know, all the people that said, I think Crystal Palace got something, they're all quiet. They're all quiet. What I want to point out is, and I'm going to talk about this on my show tomorrow, I love what Pep's doing with his rotation. I absolutely love it. He showed, he he did rest in the Aston Villa game. You saw what Foden did, hat trick. He rested KDB in that game. He rested Bernardo Silva. Fast forward now, Crystal Palace, he rests Foden. It was absolutely amazing to see a manager put trust in a few players that don't quite get the shine like that. A few players that have had to build up their confidence. Oscar Bob played. Rico Lewis is playing that shift. Two very young players, I believe 19 and 20 years old. That's what we're going to need to be able to close out the season and try to prevent as many injuries as possible because it's going to get really congested. And it's already congested. You mentioned it. Real Madrid. I talk about it all the time. If you're gonna sing praises of my club, if you're gonna, if you're gonna mystify them, if there's gonna be the storybooks, if there's gonna be the Netflix documentaries that drop the April second, by the way, make sure you go check that out. Together <laughs> Trouble. No. If you're gonna be doing any of those things, do it with an epic run. Do it when you've got to beat the best, when you have to beat the established the Champions League, the numerous trophies. That's what I want. I'm not going to punk out like some of you, and some of you are punks, but that's fine. I'm not going to say I want the easy route. I'm not going to say I want the challenge less less difficult. I'm not going to say I want to get my way to the final and then I'll win it. No, not me. That could be you, not me. I want to beat the best on the way to becoming the best. That's what you get talked about. That's how you get remembered. Last season. None of you, all you damn rivals that said Chelsea, Chelsea, Liverpool, United, you guys all have your UCL City, you'll never have one. You know what all of you couldn't do? 
You couldn't clown me for the one that I won. You could not clown me for the one that I won because I went through Bayern, I went through Real Madrid and Inter. Some of the clubs that have the most gloried UCL history in, in, in all of everything of football. And you know how else I did it? And Stack B hates this. That's why he's caressing his beard right now because he's kind of soothing himself. I did it while winning a treble. Huh? I did it while winning a treble. I'm so creating 115 talk. charges along the line. Ooh. <laughs> 150 charges not reflect. As Mo would say, why do you keep pointing to that? That's Just along, no, along, no, see, all I'm, I'm saying, saying is, all, all I'm saying is, along the way of winning your treble, you were creating your 115 charges. It's, it's okay. You can, two things can be true. You can, you can, you can walk and chew gum, right? <laughs> so on your way to making your treble, you created Whoa. 115 charges. I like it. Continue. There's, Continue your story. there's the possibility I like that song. of that. I like that song. That's a good song. Yeah, you would like yeah. that song. There's a possibil possibility of huh? that, but there's no certainty of that. That's what all of you are hoping for. That's what all of you are trying to grasp on because nothing's for certain. I'm a, These are all alleged breaches, by the way. Nothing's stuck. But you know what will stick? I'll, be, really a, I'll be the first one. 115 are just going to disappear? Marshall, yes. No, Marshall, I'm with you. 115, I'm not, I'm not clearing all of them. I'm not. Okay. I, okay. I know that. I was going to say. I know I'm not clearing 115. You know why? Yeah. Because I'm definitely getting charged. For resisting arrest i'm 100 i'm getting huh? charged 35 of those are resisting arrest i'm getting charged with those but you speaking of arrest speaking book. of arrest speaking of arrest genius just sent dio to jail but of course tj did tj things well and one second later he absolutely fumbled <laughs> one more cent but to be fair he he would free that dio anyways Actually, he didn't fumble. Thank you, TJ. I don't know why yeah, I mixed it up. Cent. I'd rather have cent. Vader in jail anyway. So, Vader, you can hold that. Now, Dio can absolutely cook wow. you. At your Thank you, TJ, for putting us out of resi. He won by... Bro, it's crazy. He won by one cent. Look at this. One ninety nine, And TJ said $2. Thank you, TJ. Uh, but, Dio, what were you saying about the 115 charges? I'm interested in that more. Wow. I was just saying that, you know... You, have you, do you remember this um, song where saying, On my way to send out, I met a man with seven wives. Every wife had seven sacks. Every Turn Saturday. your time around now. Yes, yeah. that's exactly that's exactly how they were. On their way to the treble, they created 115 charges. <laughs> cheating left and cheating right. <laughs> cheating up and cheating down. <laughs> cheating back <laughs> and cheating front. That's what they were doing. So, for me... Oh, so yeah, oh, he this came back. Vinny came hell? back. Listen, oh, oh look, Vader, Vader oh, cannot flex. Vader okay, cannot actually that. flex. That's right, that's right. And I, this Damn, is what we're doing. Dayu. We're flexing. I'm getting out of Phineas, jail right Oh, he's got to hold that. You got to hold that. Dale's Dale got a problem. All of you rivals got a problem. You're hoping, you're praying to all your football gods that this 115 sticks to us. That's all you have. But you know what? Doesn't take away what the players did on that pitch. Doesn't take away with me. Snatching that title from you last season, Dio. That's why you're back. Huh? That's why you keep talking about 115. I had to take it from you. Who cares if you led the league for 93%? All I needed was 7%. And it's mine. It's mine. Three in a row and I'm going for four. Now this game, Crystal Palace. Is there more that you need to see from City? I get it. I now get it. I truly get it. Why so many were saying, eh, despite City... Being in third, Dio wants to remind me I'm third. Be quiet, shush, shush. But why am I still favorites? Why does everybody keep telling because me you, that I'm because, favorites to win? Because you've won three in a row. Because you've won three yeah, in a row. Because you won three That's in why. a row. Right. So I'm not going to shush. I'm not going to be quiet. Because I'm third, and I'm still being told that I'm favorites for this. Now, like baseball fans saying Yankees like, are going to win the World Series. <laughs> everyone's kind of only off by one point, Bader. Yeah. Come on. You're only off by one point. I'm only off by one. But for me to win this league, really? and Dio, Dio, you're going to hate hearing this. Oh, shit, he is. You guys need to drop points. You guys mm. need to slip up. You guys need to screw up for me to win this. Yeah, so but okay, but hold on. It's one point. First. It's, I'm just saying, regardless of whether or not someone slips up, I know we're talking point. about one point, okay? It would be a lot different if one of us were up by five it's points. One like point we and goal differential. One point and goal differential. Both of you well, have okay. a better goal <clears throat> differential than me. Yeah, but the, but the, but the thing is, is that st like statistically speaking, the odds that that for City it's going to come down to goal differential are ridiculous. Goal differential really only matters for Liverpool and and Arsenal. But in order for you guys to, because you're one point back, in order for that to happen, 
you would each have there would be two weeks in which you guys would each have to drop points in order for it to level out. So for you, goal differential really isn't even in the equation. We don't know what happens with regards to how you guys are drop games, whether you guys are going to drop a few, you're going to have a few draws or you're going to actually lose games. All I know is for me to win this title, Marshall, Staffy, Dio, and Daz have to screw up. They're going to have to lose. They're going to have to drop points for me to win this. So just remember that. Yes, I'm third. I'm still favorites, surprisingly so, because of what I've done in the past. This season, I didn't look nothing like my form in, in the past. I'm not in my Super Saiyan form yet. No, we're close. But yet, I'm still favorites to do it. Now, we got this game versus Real Madrid. I showed them the utmost I was about respect. To say, how do you feel about going into this game? Because you guys embarrassed them last season. Obviously, we all know what utmost happened. Utmost respect. The, it, I'm it, going to the Bernabeu. I'm going to the Bernabeu. Listen, this, the, this it's, 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 it's going to be the highest ever attendance in Bernabeu history because they sold out, obviously, you know with why? the new stadium. No, it's not because you of know you. Why? Because, no, don't oh, do my don't goodness. Do Oh do my that. goodness! Do How is it not because of me? How is it Bro, not because of they're me? they're breaking attendance just because of their new stadium? And as it is, wait, wait, wait! They're wait, actually wait. Sorry. Is this the first time they're opening up the stadium? Bro, you really the think they're going to sell out this stadium? Has they're going to sell out this stadium versus Celta Vigo on them. Relax, Stas. Uh, uh, Have they not uh, played relax. Champions League? It's a big occasion. No, Settle. Settle. It's a, it's a big Settle. occasion. They're not going to sell it out at Celta Vigo. They're selling yeah, yeah, it out. Okay, City okay, obviously, City are bigger than them, but let's not act yeah. like that's credit to City only. Yeah. Any big oh, Champions exactly. League night would have sold that. They're not going to do this. No, Bro, no, if they're playing Liverpool, it. they're playing United, they're I'm playing not, Arsenal, would have been no, the same thing. No, Even Chelsea. Stop it. All stop of it. Stop it. Peter just it. wants <laughs> credit for... Thank you for throwing me in there. <laughs> Bro, I forgot about you. I love you. You've been so shit. But I'm like, you know what? They're low-key. Oh, <laughs> they are Champions God, League bro, jokes. Oh, my God, bro. We're a joke, bro. <laughs> Happy. You're not going to do this. You're not going to do this. Listen, Real Madrid have cope already with it, played. Later. That's all I'm games. trying to ask. How are you going to cope with it? No, That's all me... I want to ask. They're going to close no, the no. stadium on you. They're trying to create an atmosphere. Are you going to cope with it? That's okay. all I'm asking. No, <laughs> I'm not moving. I'm not moving off from this point. I'm di dial, dial is 20 seconds from coming out. I'm not going to move from this point because they played 30 games in the league already. Barcelona, at Barcelona, Atletico Madrid, right? They played against big teams, but they haven't sold out. They're selling out with Vader, the Vader, I would have sold out the stadium too. You know that. You're not going to be you know, I would have sold out the stadium too, Vader. Come on. You know that. I would have. Well, you know what? They don't have... Wait, what? They don't have you playing in this tournament. You used to play in this tournament. Vader, you know. So you're no longer does. playing in it. Dio, Marshall nope, would have I don't know that. Too. I don't we know have that. more friends than you anyways. I don't think Daz is selling out in Europa right now. I don't even think Daz is selling out in Europa. So let's relax. <laughs> no one is going to watch uh, Slavia, Slavia Praha and, and uh, Atalanta. <laughs> yeah, that's why. That's why no one is doing that. But anyways. I'm just saying. Don't disrespect City. Number one club. Going to the Bernabeu with record numbers right now. But like I said, I respect them. They have 14 UCLs. It's going to be a tremendous match. Yes, I embarrassed them last year, but that was at home. That was not away. Is at away, Bellingham it took a gonna brilliant... Be... He's supposed to be available. Is, he, is he going to be fit? Is he going to be available? Okay. That's going to be a big one. Be available. Last year, it took a brilliant strike from KDB. And something that actually was very reminiscent of what we saw in the Crystal Palace, although he used his left foot in Crystal Palace, he used his right foot versus Real last year to get past Courtois. Courtois not playing. That's a plus for us. If I leave there with the draw, I'm actually I'm actually okay with it. <laughs> I'm actually okay with it. Um, I'm not going to take the Arsenal approach and play for a draw. I'm actually going to go and attack them. If I leave there, all I have is draw. I are have. You, I'll take my chance. Are you, are you, are you trying? Are you trying to sh throw shots here? Because if you want to talk about Real Madrid, talk about Real Madrid. What do you mean the Arsenal approach? What does that even mean? What does it you, mean? You saw how you approached playing City. How did I? Approach I'm saying I'm not City? taking that approach. I'm not going into this game with Real Madrid mm -hmm. as much as I respect them, and changing how I play. I'm going to play my style. You're going I'm to play gonna, your style. I'm not going to. I'm going to play my style. Yeah. How? Yeah. And lose. I'm gonna play with cojones. I'm gonna play my style. Yeah, and lose. You you're predicting a loss. No, if you play your style, you're gonna lose. I played my style last year. I did not Madrid lose. Better. No, 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 because last, a better team this last year it's a different it's a different team this year. Madrid team this year is a different team. They're much better this year. When does City not play their style though? 
I'm, I'm just saying, like, play their style. That's, see, last year, listen, last year, you're right. You played your style last year. You overshadowed them. It's a different Madrid team you're playing this year. You have gone a notch down, and you yourself have said it earlier in the stream. You said it. You said you're not even in your Super Saiyan mode yet. You said it already that this city team of this year, city team of last year, will beat the city team of this year. So that means, according to you, you've gone a notch down. Boop, boop. Maybe it might be from 100% yeah. to 99.8. Great. But what has yeah, happened yeah. is Madrid, ha Madrid has gone from that 99.6 to 99.995. So uh, they are literally right there now. So They have three ACL injuries. I mean, their best keeper is not available, Courtois. Yep, I, I, they I hear lost it. Alaba. They lost... Uh, I hear, who else I hear all of that. I hear all of yeah, that. Yeah, but they're still saying, good. They've been but good. They got, they, got, they got better players as well in the team, outside the players that they've lost. So the but point... Rodrigo's even, balling even, out. Even, Vinny, even their number Brazil. two goalkeeper. Even yeah. the number two goalkeeper that is not... Even this guy that is in, in, in goal right now. He's, he's decent. Yeah, they he's don't very, have Kepa and goal. Don't worry, Marshall. Yeah, he's, he's very decent. So, so, so it's not like... It's, it's not like... It's and not like... It's not like... It's not like they've got... Um, what's this guy's name? Um, uh, the, the number two goalkeeper from City there. That lets in all the goals all the time. It's not like or that. Take you know? it. I think it's not letting in goals. Come on. No, I think he's talking, talking about the, the other American, right? game. No, the oh, Stephanie? Game. Yeah, the Crystal Palace game wasn't it 40? Oh, no, yeah, it's it's 40. Check, never mind. I yeah, wasn't it 40? I'm saying, like, I, of course, City will score, but they're, they're also letting goals. I'm like, the Madrid's number two goalkeeper is pretty decent. So, my thing is, like, you're playing a different Madrid this, this time around. So, let's not look at it from the same vein that it happened last year. How was it? Last, year's, last I'm just saying, last year is gone. This year is a new year. So, let's, let's, yeah. let's be focused. The fact that you, are, you already know that you've gone down a notch. It's going to be a tougher game than you think it is, you know. So if you go there and play your style that you that you think it's going to be, how are you going to cope with that Walker though? Okay, so hold on, Vader, 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 you've been playing your style all season in the league, right? All season in the league, and you've been get you've been winning games, and people have been scoring against you. Last season, that wasn't happening to you. You weren't leaking as many goals, so you you have to realize that you're still playing your style, but you're getting the defense was a lot better. Yeah. The defense was a lot better than yeah. it is this year. So all I'm saying is, if you go play your style against a Madrid that has also improved, I don't know, man. You're, You're saying. Hold on. You think you think you think I should? You guys agree with Dial that I should go there and not play my style of football? No, I, 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 pragmatic. Pragmatic. Nah, I think Pep will will adjust anyways. Pep has He'll been adjust. adjusting. Pep adjusted a lot last year, which is why he won the Champions League. That's why he plays a lot of defenders in his back line because he used to get pumped in the Champions League because he knew he can't play league football. In the Champions League, but, which he but did this is very what, this well last season. This is what oh. I want to get at. Pep, Pep changed the personnel, but the style in terms of we still had a high line. We still looked to choke the opposition. We still look to press them as as well as we can because it depends on quality. That doesn't change. So I think I, I think, think he will still... drop his line a little bit though tomorrow because you are going against Rodrigo and Vinny, and you don't really have a lot of pace in your back line. And I think if he yeah. goes that expensive at the Bernabeu, he knows he's going to punish himself. So I'm not necessarily thinking Pep is going to all of a sudden become a park the bus manager. He doesn't do that. But mm. he'll be nah, nah, nah. he'll be a little bit pragmatic versus the usual. Because as I'm saying, last year he did that a lot. And he knows with Halling being in this team, he could play long ball, which is why you won yeah. the trouble last year. Because you had too many styles of play with too much quality that people couldn't cope with it. And I feel like tomorrow he brings that back, especially with Walker not being there. And I swear there's one more player out. I forgot who's out. Uh, maybe someone else. Remember. Is Ake out? Yeah, Ake, Ake got is out. Okay, game. okay. So that's who it is. That's going to be a big miss too. But that's when Gavardi well, was line, in on his DS. Yeah, my back Stones line back? may be Stones is my back right. line may be a Kanji at right back, Stones, Diaz, and Gavardi. <clears throat> You still have a decent mm. enough back, back line, don't yeah. get me wrong. There's quality there. But we'll see what happens. I mean, give me your prediction while we're at it before we move to the next segment. My prediction? Mm -hmm. For the game. I pre I Real, Real Madrid game, yeah. Yeah, why, do, why we see I that? Prediction one. I think, it's kind of, I think it might be a 1-1. One, one. I think it might be a repeat of last season. 1-1. One, one. Yeah. Okay. What if I leave there saying? with a one goal deficit, I'm actually not. I wouldn't stress it either. If I leave there with a one with a two one deficit, I'm not too bad. I'm not too upset because it is the Bernabeu. It is record numbers in terms of attendance, like Staffy reminded me of. So it'll be a tough place to play. And if I come back to my home ground, having to be the 
more attacking team and, and tie it up or take a one a, a two goal advantage. I think we're capable of doing that. Um, and I need my players healthy as well. Another thing I want to point out is several players for Real Madrid are one yellow card away from missing the second leg. I so I think, I think Schuttiger, wow, yeah, some players. Bellingham, like some key players, right? So hopefully mm. a player like player like Grealish, Grealish. like Silva, like Foden. Grealish, can especially, win a... he's very good at baiting people in fouls. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. He, so we'll see. He used to be the most. Be... Which which watch along are you doing? Which which one are you gonna watch? I'm I'm gonna be at work. I can't do a watch along, unfortunately. <gasps> oh damn. So it's I'm gonna take my laptop with me. I'm gonna go to one of the conference rooms. You know what I'm gonna do? We have so many conference rooms with like TVs for meetings. I'm just gonna plug that shit in. I'm gonna watch the game while I work. That's what I'm gonna do. You know, yeah, watch yeah. along make from, sure you... from Stoppy's company. <laughs> in Outlook, in Outlook, make sure you just block off that time, that meeting time, so no one interrupts you. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on yellow or something. Be like, <laughs> away, away, so no one talks to me. Uh, but let's let's just move on to the next segment. And uh, talk a little. Oh no no no! About... You guys are you guys. Give me your predictions. Don't do that. Oh yeah, yeah. predictions, everyone. Watch. Um, I'm not watching three, it, so I don't really care. Three one Madrid. <laughs> uh, you, um, I'm not watching your open head. Take that. <clears throat> I, I, dude, I'm I'm in a bigger competition, bro. <laughs> huh? Huh? Yeah, bigger because that's more teams. That's about it. Wait, what was yeah, your prediction, baby. Marshall? Um, I think it's gonna be uh, a tight knit. I I'm thinking. Uh, I think 2 1 Real Madrid. I'm not going to lie. Thus, I'm not mad at that. I mean, like I said, I'm going to be watching Liverpool and I'm not in the Champions League. So, whatever happens, you know, kudos to you guys. Good luck. Fa- farewell. Uh, you know, good riddance. But I'm not in the Champions League. So, uh, you know, this mode is very much just checking the ESPN app when the games are at like five o'clock. I'm like, I, I, I can't be bothered. And also, Liverpool play at the same time. So, I will be watching my team. Are Liverpool playing tomorrow? Yeah, at 12 o'clock. Really? Oh, I thought they yep. played on Thursday. No, uh-huh. I didn't know that. I'm almost, I'm almost positive that the game is. These Premier League. No I mean, you could have given a prediction way. without watching, but. Oh wow! Oh, never mind. I'm an idiot. I read it wrong. It is Thursday. You're indeed oh, okay. an idiot. As wow, I said, like... I've never seen Europa League. Oh on my a god! I'm, I'm just, I'm so dumb. What? I don't know why. Put him in the wall. I don't know what. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know why I read that. I don't, know, I don't know why I read that as Tuesday, but you are right. I was <laughs> thinking to myself, it's so weird. I'm not even waiting for um, a that California Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. California Fuck you. Five one Madrid. Fuck you. There you go. That was very embarrassing, but. I already told you. I'm sorry. I'm I'm in I'm in casual mode now. Five one Madrid. Hey, I got a chance. Are you? <laughs> um, I'd, I'd say three one Madrid. Okay. Three one Madrid. Okay. I'm gonna say two one Madrid. I think Madrid. And I and I think and I think when they come back to the Etihad, City is going to do them a three one as well. That's that's how I feel about both teams. I just need Madrid to get tomorrow as many goals as they can because the last thing I want to see is a back to back Champions League win for these guys. But let's move on to the, to the next segment. Let me get the super chat out of the way first. Big up Herman Sadiq saying, have you guys heard the news came out today about a certain terror group that are threatening to attack the UCL quarterfinals hosting the stadiums tomorrow? Listen, I can definitely guarantee you that I didn't know about that. I can guarantee you one thing. If there is a terror group threatening that, it's uh, definitely this guy. It's the only guy huh? that I know. That- um, if you guys want to refer him to the police, he's the only the one I can think of. He's the only terrorist that I know right now. Um, so it's definitely him. Uh, and what, what happened to my overlay? Let me bring back my overlay. He gave you a uh, draw versus Liverpool, and you're treating him like that. Don't, no. don't. He bottled we'll the don't lead, go. though. We'll don't talk go about that far. That. We'll talk about it. We'll he talk about the it. lead. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Anyways, let's get Arsenal out of the way, and then. We'll talk about the, the game. Or should we talk about the Liverpool game? No, nah, I think we talk about Arsenal first. Since we're in Champions League mood. Um, Pixar, Dayu, you won. Got over your hurdle. Uh, Brighton, usually your bogey team. And you guys had... Yep. Listen, I said, you know what? I'm going to trust Arsenal when I was making my predictions. Deserve is uh, a fraud. Well, Deserve is a fraud, yes, 100%. And I trusted Arsenal. And Arsenal, listen, they proved that I had, I had the... Me and obviously Arsenal fans and a lot of people who want Arsenal to win the league, we were right for trusting you guys because I said, listen, I see a different mentality and you guys proved it. You absolutely brushed right in the side, 3-0, and 
and good performance. You got Bayern in the Champions League. How are you feeling that? Tough. That's gonna. That's not gonna be tough. It's gonna be an easy game. Wait, no, oh, no, 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 no. With, with, with Bayern, with Bayern, I think it's he's only be. saying that because he likes Tuchel. That's the only reason. I said no, that. it's gonna, it's, get, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a tough game with Bayern, regardless Tuchel. of what we say. Okay. And the reason I, the reason I keep that's saying tough. it's gonna be a tough game is. We we all know that your form in the league does usually is not the same. It doesn't translate to Thank the Champions you. League. Your form in league doesn't matter. Too. No, no. But that's the truth about it. Like I've seen teams that are sixth in their league, third, fourth, fifth, go on and win the Champions League. You know. Um. So City to me, third and they're going on in the Champions. League. And yeah, third. You know, third. Yeah, Chelsea's done it. Chelsea had a. You know, it wasn't like they were winning. So, oh, yeah, we so my. Sure, no, yeah. So so my thing is, for me, I'm not looking at Bayern's. Um, position in the league table because they're second, and everybody's like, Oh, they're six, 16 points behind Leverkusen, and so they're going to be easy to beat. No, they, they have nothing else to play for but this Champions League. Bayern have no other trophy that they can win this season except this Champions League. Like, this is all this is all or nothing for Bayern. Mm -hmm. So them that coming, theory makes sense, the players will step up to the Marshall, occasion. No. Marshall's team would be playing out of their skin, Staffy's team would be playing at another level. Like, what's happening here? No, no, what I'm saying no, is... No, 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 it's true. Listen, listen if you... UCL is a whole different... If your you know. team had just the UCL to play for, they're out of the the the, the, the DF... Um, the DF... Pokal. Uh, yeah. They're mm -hmm. they're second. They're not, they're not going to win the league. The Bundesliga is gone. Leverkusen well, is 16 11 points, points ahead of them. Or something? 16. They were 13. Oh, all they have to do, all, all they have to do is win one game. They win one next game and they're champions. Yeah, on Tuchel's head. Undefeated. Uh, you know. Undefeated. So, Undefeated. So on Tuchel's is, head. 13 so in thing, Europe's ever do it. My thing is, right now, they they have, this is the only thing that they have to play for. And being the team that already has Champions League heritage, they are going to come with the smoke. They have to. Like, that's, if, if they don't come with the smoke, I, I would be disappointed. Because, I like I said, 14 years ago was the last time that Arsenal was in this position. And I'm happy to be back here. I'm happy to be, to be fighting the big boys now. Like, I'm happy. Like, I don't want it to be, as much as I would love it to be an easy thing, it's not going to help my players. Because you get into the next round, you're either going to meet Man City again or, or Real Madrid. So let's not even, look, if it's going to be hard, let it be hard and let's get through it. With Porto, it was similar. It was very difficult for us, but we got through somehow on penalties. My thing, that, that for me is a mentality shift. If you can't do it in 19 minutes, you can't do it in 120 minutes, do it in penalties. Prepare mm. for every aspect of the game because at the end of the day, these people that you're going up against are bloody giants. I don't have any, I don't have any um, UCL uh, heritage. I don't. I can say that boldly. There's no big deal but about that. You're the better team, Dai. Let's, let's, let's cut these no, no, so, no, 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 so no. So now, so now I'll talk about being the better team. I'm the be like I said, your league form doesn't usually translate. Porto was third in their league. We were the better team in the in the in the Premiership when we met them. Look at what happened. No, no I, I, I agree with you. I oh agree with goodness. you. I'm, I'm, I'm not this saying this Tuchel is... agenda is stinky. Well, the one thing Tuchel is... did well at Chelsea was in cups. UCL is a cup. Brother, let Tuchel it go. We're not talking about the, Tuchel for 2024. No, Stop but this is the thing. Dio is 100 percent right. Bayern no, not. is going to step up to the occasion. I'm not, here's, here's what I'm saying. Just no, like my players when they're down two, so they stepped this. up. Let me say this. Let me say this. At the Emirates, I am boldly saying to anybody else here, we're going to beat Bayern at the Emirates. I know that. But they will step up. Two things can be true. It's not going to be an easy ride, but we're going to do it what? at the Emirates. Now, we have to do it at the Emirates because going to the Alliance Arena... It's like literally just, just go and step on fire and brimstone. You literally just go and step on fire. You're, you're better off stepping on fire and brimstone and burning all the under, under of your feet because over there, it's going to be fire. Mm -hmm. The only thing that, that literally will save us over there is our defense. We are the better team in form and we can take advantage of it at the Emirates. Now, their the fans are not allowed. much better than them this season. It's actually no, much, much better. Compared. No, no, of course. I'm not, I'm not playing off down. I'm saying, look, we are the much better team at the Emirates, their fans are not coming. This is why I said there's many reasons why we're going to beat them at the Emirates. Many reasons why I believe we're going to beat them at the Emirates. They're not playing very well, but even at that, your form doesn't translate to Champions League. Champions League is a knockout thing. They can come for straight off, for straight off flow of play, score one goal and go back and wait for us at the Allianz Arena. It happens. No matter how good you... We played, we played better against Liverpool in the FA Cup, but Liverpool popped us. So it's not about yeah, just that. being... No, no, it's not, it's not just about I hear that. being a I hear better that. team. Listen, it's also about I... just making sure that, you know, at the end of the day, 
is... what you need to do to win, you do. We don't. We can't underestimate them and say because hey, I'm, I'm not telling team. you to underestimate them. Hold on, no, no, I, I know. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying that. Yeah. I get what you're saying, though. And and yes, you have to respect the competition. And I won't be a hypocrite because I said that I didn't like how they were disrespecting Porto in the first round. I hear all mm -hmm. that. But at the end of the day, Bayern are actually playing horrible football this year. Their manager is leaving at the end of the season. Thank you. That's how bad they are. Thank you. I, the reason why I, he's leaving. These you players are miles still win a cup, though. I, I, and I and yes, I agree I with that. you. What I agree with you. What I'm on saying on the pitch, is, though. But that, just let me finish. On the pitch, though, you guys are much better than them this season. You are a much more drill team than them this season. Your players are very hungry as well to win trophies this season. You've never won a Champions League, and your players mm -hmm. know that, and they want to get that 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 monkey off their back. Arteta is very good at getting these players all on side to 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 want to win something. Not to mention your momentum versus theirs is actually amazing. They have no momentum going into this game. I, I all totally the agree with you. The world. you. This is why we're saying you say saying you should be Stuffy, confident. Everything well, you're I saying I am literally confident. collapses once you get... Because we were saying the same exact thing when they were going into Porto. And what happened? They lost to Porto one nothing. So everything you're saying, Dayu is 100% right. When it comes to the UCL, when it comes to the UCL, league form goes out the window. All Porto, Porto, is, uh, Porto uh, are, uh, no. are much more inferior okay, to them. So, That's why so they let, played let the me, way they let did. Let me, let me, let me Bayern won't do that. Bayern, Bayern will play an expensive game. Whip, let me say this. allow chances. Marshall, let me say this. So, bro, last year's I'm, listen, go, listen, I'm confident. About? I'm confident. Yeah, respect, sorry. Listen, I'm confident. This guy wants to respect all his former managers. Do you see what's going on here? Oh, respect, sorry. Respect, Tuchel. Oh, Frank Lambert managed to have the dial goals. I need listen, to listen. let Dio speak and then you'll go. I am confident that we are winning at the Emirates because of all these different factors, right? Of course, we are the, we are the better team right now in form and in, with momentum. But there's a big difference when you're also playing somebody who has won the Champions League multiple times, has heritage, and the players in that team have player pride. They have player pride. They are not like some teams in England that don't have player, player pride. Even if their manager is crap at the point, some of these players will step up and step in. So for me, these are people who know how to get it done as well. So my thing is, we just need to go in, play our pragmatic football, get our scoreline as high as we can, because when we go to the Alliance Arena, it's going to be a tough game. Good thing we have our defense is solid enough. As long as they don't break down, they don't, they don't capitulate. We score one or two goals. In fact, I think two goals for us, taking two goals to the Alliance Arena, and defending over there for 90 minutes for the rest of my life. I, it's a knockout tournament. I don't care. I don't need beautiful football. I need to win. Go there, play a deep block, defend, get out of there, come home. Let's focus on the semifinal. That's my thing, you know. But at the Emirates, we're winning. And I can predict, right, I, okay. I, I would I would say 2-0 at the Emirates. I was okay. going to say, let okay. Vader get his uh, his rebuttal and then we'll do predictions and move on to the next Yeah, game. this is this is absolutely crazy. This is absolutely crazy. <laughs> now, Bayern have been poor all year long. And we want to talk about form and you want to dismiss it. They've been poor in Champions League as well. They were in the same group as Staffy, right? Were, did, they, did they look dominant? Did they look like they were good controlling that group? Even the games played against United, it, they were so inconsistent. Now, Bayern are in like some crazy flux. I don't know what it is with Tuchel. I'm so glad that he's out of the Prem. I'm so glad that he's over at Bayern. And I'm so glad that he's got them all messed up because this whole legacy that they've had there, winning league after league, I think they want, they wanted a ridiculous amount and they were fraudulent to win it last season, but that was under Tuchel. That was a different story. This is why I think Arsenal are comfortably winning versus Bayern at the Emirates, right? They're comfortably they winning should. at the Emirates because they should. Let's also remember... Bayern's not traveling with any fans. They're idiots through flares in their last. True, true. There's no fans. There's no that. fans coming to the Emirates, right? And this bum Tuchel, yes, Marshall, this bum Tuchel just lost to a tenth ranked team in the Bund uh, Bundesliga with a minus ten or eight goal differential. They're wait, trash. Wait. Just wait, just wait lost every that time. Game. They're so <laughs> trash. This game is a comfortable win for so Arsenal, and I, I tweeted this early in the week. We want to, many want to talk about Klopp being one of the unluck, unluckiest managers. I'm actually looking at Arteta as one of the luckiest managers because they listed a lot of the injuries that actually that, that um, Byron have going into this game. 
And then look at the form that they're playing in. And then look at a manager that's probably on the way out, that's locked, that's lost the locker room. It's going to be a slapping tomorrow. And I agree with <laughs> Dial. They need to rack up as many goals as they possibly huh? can so that they can <clears throat> go to Allianz and comfortably see through this tie. That's actually the approach. Now, my only, the only thing that's got me hesitant, and Marshall brought it up, is how the manager sets them up. If they set up too pragmatic, if they set up too pragmatic, they're going to keep this game too close, closer than it needs to be. You've got to strike when the iron's hot. You've got to see vulnerabilities. You've got to see where you can take advantages. And you've got to put your foot on their throat, on their neck, and get those results. I don't know if Arteta's going to do that because I've seen a little – he shifted too much on the pragmatic side. That's the only thing that's got me concerned. But quality for quality, Arsenal should demolish Bayern and should erase all of the PTSD that they had from previous years when they were getting smashed by them. I, I, that's, I just, that's I just, me. I just want to, I just want to say that I know that the previous uh, um, Arsenal Bayern uh, encounter, I think, which was 2017, if I'm not mistaken, 2016, the ten yeah. to, yeah, the ten to, ten to. Um, 10 to um, I know that's the most recent fresh memory that most people have in their minds. But Arsenal and Bayern, head to head, we've gone the, head to head twelve times. Bayern has won six, Arsenal has won four, and we've we've drawn two. So our head to head is not so terrible with them. So I'm not really scared. I'm just saying we do know that they're a team that has players who have experience and can step up. You know, Neuer is not <coughs> playing as well. By the way, I forgot to mention that. that. Yeah. So coming, but coming to the Emirates, I'm confident at the Emirates. I don't even know how to say the goalkeeper's name. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Blue I'm, I'm, yeah. I, I'm, I swear, I'm, I don't know how to say. His name. I'm confident we win at the Emirates. I'm confident that we, we do the business at the Emirates. You and should, I, if, you yeah, if we, once we can pump in more than two goals at the Emirates, I mean, I I feel like a two goal lead going to the Alliance Arena, we can we can defend for a two goal lead there. Arsenal is good enough to do that. You guys won't slap them up though. That's the thing. No, no, that, no. Like that's what I'm saying. saying. Like, that's what like, I'm saying. I, we do two, they're that's slapping like, they're two them. Goals. At least Dayu, at least you have, you have a level head team. at this. Uh, at least at least stop you're coming it, at this it. rationally. No, 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 because the thing is too, like, no, no, you guys are you, pretending, baby. you guys are pretending that Tuchel didn't take, over there. you guys are pretending that Tuchel didn't take PSG to a final, you guys are pretending that he didn't take this mid, let's admit, Why are we that Chelsea team, team under Lampard was mid. I'm just saying, a manager that has history in this champion, in, in this cup, in this UCL, it's going to matter a lot. He knows how to set up for cup games. He took Chelsea to multiple finals when they had no business being there. He took Chelsea to the UCL final and won it. And what happened? Remind me, Vader. What happened when you made your first final? You lost. You weren't ready are for you, it. This is their first run. This is their first run. This is their first run no, 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 Marshall. No, under no, no, this Marshall. manager. You're a fraud. And for a lot of these guys, they're not going to be ready for their occasion. I'm just saying but, this. But, this is a this but, is a competition but, but, but it, where. But it's true you, now. You didn't you didn't win your first UCL final now, um, City. So I don't know why you're telling us. You did Vader's mic sounds a little bit low, so let him speak because he sounds. No, no, but Vader, before you go, I just want to say because you mentioned you mentioned the form in in UCL. How many times did you finish top of your league only to? capitulating quarterfinals semis it doesn't matter the form in in the group stages as long as you're getting into the later rounds it plays oh a big factor, my goodness we can't this is it. this is what i'd like to say hopefully you guys can hear me because marshall you're a yeah. fraud we hear you, but your mic is lower than usual i know you usually sound a little bit louder than that yeah, but we can hear you just don't talk over you i'm not i'm not going to talk over you i want to listen hold on how about now you have to say a lot better yeah um, i think so <laughs> okay this is what i want to say you're a fraud and you're a fraud because you're trying to talk about Chelsea's team. You're trying to talk about Chelsea's team Any that Chelsea actually was going problem. on those cup runs, that was going on those cup runs like they weren't a quality squad with Conte in that midfield and how well you guys were playing. Like, this, is what, this was, was wild. Our attack sucked. We had no striker. Okay. Did he play attacking football, though? No. So you made it to cup runs because he knew what mm -hmm. his strengths were. Defensive. Draw the game out. You won that... Champions League, and I understand it, and it may be better for it. It may be better for it losing it because it would only have been it would only have been a Champions League. Oh, actually, it would have been a double, but it did not result in a trouble that I was thankfully able to get. Now, Tuchel, stop propping this guy up about what he did at PSG and what he's done at Chelsea. And look at what he's doing this at guy's Bayern. Such a bum, bro. He's such a bum. Look at what he does in the Champions League. Look he won what he's bro. He has the biggest. Let me tell you what he's done in the Champions League. He has the biggest comeback in history done on his head. That's what he has. 
you love to mention that one Champions League that he won because of that amazing backline Chelsea had, and they were massive underdogs. Talk about how shit Bayern have been since he went there. Talk about how Harry Kane is actually carrying that team. Again, and this team is league leaking form goal. goes out this the guy's window. I'm not denying that the league has been bad. I am talking about the He's UCL. playing Eric Dyer over Kim Ming Jae. Eric Dude, Dyer. Even, even, even Real Madrid. When they I wish Jacob was here to, to tell you even, how bad even Eric Real Dyer Madrid. is. This, this is what shows that league form goes out the window. Even when Real yeah, Madrid were not doing great in the league, Carlos Ancelotti still took them and won them a UCL, even though they lost to Barcelona and Xavi. What is I'm just saying, league You're form goes out the window. It doesn't matter. I don't hear anyone criticizing Carlos Ancelotti for not doing well in the league against Xavi and Barcelona, yet he won a UCL. Again, are you really comparing UC- league form? Ancelotti to Tuchel, bro. Uh, I am saying You're taking American if you guys, to a you next guys level are literally, right you guys are literally pointing out league form like it matters in UCL. It it's doesn't not matter. Form. It's been their form this season. They've been the best team. They are arguably the best team in England this year. Yes, I know they're up there with City and and and, and Liverpool, but everyone would tell you they have the best defense. They have the better goal difference because of that. Best defense, best attack, and they're going into the Champions League with the same for against the team. If they were playing Real Madrid, I promise you, I would have the same chest. I'd be like, no, 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 respect Madrid. Because Real Madrid uh, actually have decent players, and they actually have a decent manager. Okay, so you so just want to do let anything let me, for Tuchel. Let me, of sorry, 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 hold on, Dio, 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 one second, let me one let me put it. Let me, Dio, let me just quickly say this. Sorry, Vader. Let me just quickly say hold this. Hold on. Arsenal no, will let me just deal with Marshall. Listen, let me deal Arsenal, with Arsenal, Arsenal, listen, one Arsenal second, will be. Arsenal Dio, will Dio, be. Let, let him finish. Dio, let him finish. Arsenal will be Bayern, but it's not a slapping up. That's what I don't want to hear. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It won't be a slapping up. It's not. I never said it's going to be a slapping, but you guys are the favorite to go into the game into the tie. All right, no slapping, no slapping. But Marshall. Don't you dare, don't you dare compare Bundesliga where Bayern are supposed to win it every damn year to Real Madrid falling short to a Barcelona in terms of league form. Let's not do this. They won 11 in a row. I'm not going to make this a Tuchel debate. I'm not going to his bum manager came in. Oh, and Vader, let me run one one more thing. They were supposed to lose it uh, it last year until, uh, uh, what's their name, Dortmund threw away the last game. It wasn't even in their hands. The other team exactly. threw it away. Listen, this bum this almost ended Bayern. the reign last year, but I'm not he was like, you know what? Tuchel. Hold my beer. I'm going to end the year Time after. Will tell. Let's see what happens in the UCL. But when Tuchel goes and advances into that championship, into that league, oh, it's bribery? It's going to be bribery? No, no, no. no, no. Oh, violin, up. violin. I got you. I got you. No, no. I said pay up. Listen. Get ready to pay up. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, I'll pay up, but also you pay up. Because I'm just I'm saying, not- I'm just saying, if if Arsenal don't advance, don't Arsenal look at the guy that was being logical winning. and sound about this. Yes, yes. No, yes looking yes, at the history. Yes, 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 yes. thing, Marshall. Arsenal will final advance. Thought another, before we move on. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Let's we'll get the final. Realize. I think I don't. I don't. Uh, I, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think took while Tuchel was here. We, we did have. Um, we did have Arteta, and he never beat Arteta as well. So that's another thing. So just know that. Yeah, he um, did. No, he did. Lukaku. Lukaku no, put uh, Pablo Mari in the spliff. We beat you. Second no, game did. of the season. Last, that, Yeah, yeah, we did. No, I'll look it up no, right no. now. Yeah. Oh, it's one of the worst Arsenal teams I've ever seen, bro. Yeah, but he, I mean, if you want to talk, okay, now it's because of the worst Arsenal team. But before, we're moving bro, the goalposts here. You literally I'm just not said moving you any First of all, did I, I, I didn't say anything. First of all, it was Dayu. I'm just saying, if you're going to use that as a flex, it was one of the worst Arsenal team sides I've seen. It's nowhere near this side that Arteta built. This side that Arteta built now, I'm not going to lie, bro. I don't know how they're going to score against them because that back line is absolutely amazing. Not that's just the back line. Starting from the DMs. Okay, yeah, Tuchel, line. yeah, so yeah, you're right. Tuchel did win one game, but Arteta has won twice against Tuchel. And, and so they've, they've, also, they've also faced each other in a different place. So all I'm saying mm-hmm. is regardless of how good you say Tuchel is in the, the Champions League, I give I give Bayern Munich, not Tuchel as a person, Bayern Munich the respect they have because of Oh, yeah, I respect Bayern, have. not, not Tuchel. For me, for me, I know that Arteta can bring the game Ateta has won two or three times and Tuchel has won once. I know Ateta mm-hmm. knows this coach as well. And now that they're playing this badly, coming to the Emirates first, I think we can do... Not even I think, I know we're doing the business at, 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 at the Emirates. After which, we go we go to their home and we defend like we did against Man City. We defend like hell. That's it. So, for me, it's not a slapping up. We're just going to give pump them with two goals here, go back and defend the two goals. If we get a chance, counter-attack, score one. If you don't get a chance, sit deep. 
we're good, we're good off the ball, we're good in, in low blocks, we're good in mid blocks. We stay there, we ride it through, and we come home. Boom, done. Listen, all I'm saying is you guys are going to bottle it just like Liverpool bottled the, the That's just the league. hater in you speaking. Well, listen, we're going to move on. Listen, we're going to talk about Liverpool mm-hmm. bottling it the too. Reason, the only reason you say that is because you bottled a billion dollars. You guys bottled a whole billion. <laughs> now everybody's a bottler. I respect oh, that you played tax, the bomb. Potch tax, potch tax. I, I respect that you did that. I respect that you did that. He dropped like the bomb. Consistent and he, here. I'm like, yeah, I respect that. I respect that. I respect. That. <laughs> listen, but it's time to move on because listen, Das has been very quiet, and I hope he's just been quiet because he has to talk a lot now more. You know, maybe he was yeah. just reserving his energy. This is the quietest I've ever seen Das. See what see what club did to this guy, poor guy. It's but nothing to do get, with that. But go ahead. Well, well let me Read just get this chat. chat away. Big up, big up, AK. Uh, saying big up Vader, Lucas Paqueta to City confirmed. Yeah, I saw that earlier. Uh, quickly in like thirty seconds, Vader. How, how do you uh, talk about that signing? The drop points that you guys saw, City, the drop points that you saw City do this season, eliminate half of those next year. It'll easy eliminate half of the drop points that you saw City drop this season with Paqueta arriving to us. This midfield is gonna cook. It's gonna you cut. do know that oh, means you saying. do know that saying. means that Silva's going right. You do understand that, and I doubt that you lose Silva. Possibly, possibly. Yeah, because I, I was tired of Silva. I'm not gonna lie. This guy's been amazing for you hey, guys. Sir. But anyways, hey, I am yeah, 100. I never claimed yeah, to yeah. be in there. Silva is a genie. <laughs> he's a genie. That's what I call him. That's why I hate him, bro. He's such a good he's footballer. A, I fucking he's, hate he's, him, bro. He's literally the lamp guy. Like just rub the lamp. Just like Enzo. And he'll get it done. That's I. I Enzo don't, is wow. nowhere don't ever do that again, no, no. Marshall. Don't He's ever nowhere do near. Again. Guys, make sure you're smashing a like. We're not even on a hundred likes yet, and that's a quite embarrassing, especially on Dai's debut. Get get us to hundred likes right now. Hey, you're not on a hundred uh, likes on my on my first day. All of you in the chat, all of you. If I start appearing in your dream, one after huh? the other, huh? appearing in your dreams, one after the other, one after the other. Will you smash the like buttons there? Yes, you. You will be the AKC TBID, Sunshine, <laughs> Firearm, Jimmy Fox, John Santos. I see your name. You can't run. You can't hide. Smash Sunshine's the Sunshine's in the chat. Oh, that fraud. Big up Sunshine every it's time. Listen, respect Sunshine. Uh, She's the, the next uh, big thing. You can hold that L just United like you, Stavi. Bro, me and Sunshine don't hold no L's, bro. Our team does. We don't. But anyway, speaking <laughs> of our team, we didn't hold an L this game because thankfully... You bottled it too, but... We played Liverpool. The real bottlers were Liverpool. We played Liverpool. Can we play every week, Das? Because you guys can't beat us this season. <laughs> Three games. We beat you once. We tied once. Can we play you every week? Can wow. we play you? Can we play? Can we play you every week, Das? <laughs> That's what happened, buddy. 14 shots. On, uh, you had 14 shots by the time I had my first one from the halfway line and I scored. Yeah, Wait, you guys seen that? Stassi, that, that wasn't that... it 80 shots all season? They match. shot entire half ninety. Shot. They, they had ninety shots against us this season. That's crazy. the most, the most ever in a season huh? for a team to concede like shots to one team was. The, wow. the, this is a record: ninety shots to Liverpool, and they only scored two wow. goals against. Us. Liverpool, <laughs> Liverpool were just. Well, actually, I think it counts the cup game, so they had a few goals. There. But you Are know you what? I mean? Shout out to Onana with the. They didn't even start, bro. I, yeah, Onana. yeah. Shout out to Onana every time. Shout out to Onana well, every time. Well, Staffy, who, who who's going first? Am I going first, or are you? Going I'll, first? I'll, I'll I'll let you go first, Das, because you've been quiet for a minute. So I hope that. Let energy me talk. Let me Losers talk. Out. Losers out. Well, well, the reason why I was so quiet was because you guys were so busy arguing about hypothetical bullshit like Thomas Tuchel and uh, how, many sorry, fans, we're how many fans yeah. are going to be in a stadium. Sorry um, for <laughs> Don't preview but, uh, anymore. Don't hey, preview. hey, preview, we'll do a pre- prediction. Hey, listen, listen, too. listen, previewing, previewing is previewing. I'm just saying it isn't exactly my place to be talking about Champions League football, so I'm not going to blow smoke out of my own ass. Um, yeah, sure enough. When it Good comes point. to this game, there, there's... So there, there, there's we don't two cover angles. Europa here. Sorry. No, 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 we're not. Um, there's uh, there's two different perspectives. The first I'll give is on the game, and the second I'll give is on the season. And I'll, mm. I'm gonna be I'm gonna I'm gonna be quick. Uh, the game itself. Gerald Kwanzaa had his little you know Stevie G moment, right? He he gave it to Dem Baba Steve Gerard Gerard right? Steve Gerard Gerard. Um, right. So so on his before, that, ass, before that point, before that point, Dem Baba. Before that, before that point Steve in the game, Gerard. in the first half, we had 14 shots. Uh, Soboslai missed the one-on-one. Uh, actually, Soboslai missed the one-on-one, and he missed a cross directly into the center of the box. Mohamed Salah missed a great opportunity. 
Um, Luis Diaz scored. Luis Diaz. I'm just talking about the first half. Plus, you had uh, 28 Luis, shots and you you scored. Uh, are you gonna Are you gonna let me fucking finish? Because, because you you're interrupting me and and you're just and you're just saying the exact same points that I that I just said. Okay. That seems we a little in, bit rattled today, guys. We were we were incredibly wasteful. Now I just want to get out what I have to say. We were incredibly wasteful. The first half, the game should have been three 0 It should have been locked and dusted. But the thing is, is that this isn't new. This isn't an anomaly. This isn't just Manchester United. Because in the first half of the season, we not only were, I believe, second in chances created, we were first in big chances missed. Which means that this is a pattern that's been going on the whole season. We haven't been clinical up front, and the entire front five has been criticized. Unfortunately, I didn't have Jota, but it is what it is. Injuries are injuries. But there, there's there's no there's nothing to really hash out here about this game. We made a serious mistake. Manu scored a world-class goal. We got back into it with a penalty. But to be honest... When Bruno Fernandes scores that goal, it should be 4-1, right? So ultimately, Liverpool have no one to blame but, the, blame but themselves because United took advantage of the opportunities that they had. They did have other counter counterattacking opportunities after the first goal went in. Um, and if it wasn't for Minu's world-class goal, which again, like nothing against the kid. Overall performance in, on the day, I don't think it was his best, but that goal saves everything because it was, never, yeah, it, it, it was a wonder strike. It was a wonder strike, right? But outside of that, that okay. Liverpool have no one to blame but themselves. Know. And it's 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 just that simple because of how wasteful mm -hmm. we were. But when we look at this with some perspective, right? Okay. Realistically, objectively speaking, today we're four points off of where we finished last last season at the beginning of this season not a single one of you or any other content creator on oh. youtube or 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 any pundit or any pundit in the world are you going to do Liverpool, this one second allow me allow me to circle circumnavigate okay it's a, it's a full circle point no one gave us even top 4 like people had us in fourth people had three teams in front of us right Look at all of the injuries that we've had this season. I'm just talking to Liverpool fans here, to be honest. Look at all the injuries that we've had this season. I, I mean, I don't have Trent. I haven't had him for an extended oh, period. Oh, don't do that. We're not going to start talking about injuries, Das. No, no, Wait. no I'm sorry. No, Wait. Go, Wait. Go, I don't do Wait. Just wear, wear every time. Go, I, just, I, just, I just told you what I'm going to do. I said I'm going to talk about the game, That's and then I'm going to talk about the season. Because a lot of narratives that I'm hearing are pissing me the fuck off. Um, okay. We're facing a lot of injuries right now. More injuries don't, don't be than... Pissed off. More more injuries no than Arsenal, no, no more injuries than Arsenal or Manchester City, right? Because I lost my I lost my first pairing in, in Joel Matip at the beginning of the season. Kanate got hurt against Sheffield, and he would have been yeah. there if he if he didn't get if he didn't get hurt. Um, Jota's yeah. out, who is who was the best finisher on this team. Curtis Jones mm -hmm. has been out for an extended period of time. Um, Allison, to be honest, for where we are right now, it's not that terrible if you put things into perspective i mean just look yeah. at the next seven games I mean, right people keep pe people keep saying that we have the easiest running there's seven games left and i have to play five of them away how is that the easiest running like i understand the competition isn't as strong but i have to win the league away from home i have five away games i have two more games at anfield Tottenham and okay. Wolves. I'm not, Every other like, game. First of all, is away I don't want to talk home. about the fixtures yet. I don't want to talk about the fixtures. Yet. I, 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 I know, I know. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna go for. Uh, He's got a lot of pent up. Let him speak. Because, let him speak. Because, because, because people. He's talking to so many like different areas. No, that, but like, let him get it. Because, 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 because okay. it's, it's, it's all coming. It's all coming back. It's all coming back full circle. It's all coming back. Liverpool, Liverpool had the opportunity to win that game. More than yeah. enough opportunity to win that game, and they didn't do it. What did it cost us? It cost us the two point lead before before this game even played. When you guys were saying about you know how do you see the league coming out, right? I said there's eight games left. I think at absolute maximum we can drop points in one of them. A, a, a draw is a loss, but we can only drop points in one game. And I said the same thing about City, and I said the same thing about Arsenal. This, and this is a three legged race, and there was two points that separated us. And if you're going to consider two points to be a bottle job, then technically every lead ever blown in the history of the sport is a bottle job. Us drop, us losing a six point lead is a bottle job. Arsenal losing a seven point lead is a bottle job. Two points is one game. A bottle job is more than one game. But regardless to all of that, yeah, there's still right. there's still seven more games to go. I don't think anything in terms of how the league is going to pan out was lost this weekend because Arsenal have to win all seven of them to win mm -hmm. the title. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? I yeah. have to win all seven of mine just to be, you know, right there next to them. For all we know, City, I mean, even if City win all of their games, they have to hope that one of us drops points because they're one point mm -hmm. behind us, which means that I know. Th which which means that the maximum amount of points right now is 92. 
And, you know, if you want to be super conservative, you can say that 90 points wins the league. I don't agree with that. Um, I think that 92 points is going to win this league. But, like, just with everything considered, was it disappointing? Absolutely. Especially to United. But it's not the it's not the only team that, that we've done this to this the, the, the this this season. We've seen this problem over and over again. And to be quite frank, throughout this entire season, we have been on paper, according to public opinion, overachieving. Um, I but think that, you have but, overachieved. But, us. But, yes. but but that, but, but, that. But, but the thing is that isn't taking away from the opportunity that we wasted because we had every opportunity to be up four 0 and that's on the players, right? It's not on Jurgen. Right. It, it's it's literally on the players who missed wide open chances. I'm not going to fall back that, on my manager. I'm going to I'm say that huh? it's the players who have fucked this up. The only the only thing that I could say that Jurgen Klopp could have done differently was he could have started Harvey Elliott uh, instead of Soboslai because Harvey Elliott has been shining the last four appearances and he's coming off the bench mm. and Soboslai has been stinking up the pitch. And, and the second Elliott came on, we completely changed. We sucked the energy out of United and all of a sudden we were on the front foot creating chance after that? chance after chance. But listen, regardless, I, I just think a lot of people are blowing this out of proportion. I don't think that a single logical, reasonable Arsenal fan would say that anything is over because you have to be you have to be perfect. And if you drop one game and I win all of mine, that's it. It's done. Like it's over. I, so I agree. I agree. Season. But you're, you're not you're not bottle job. But yeah, for now this game you played against United. This, you're the this no, game. Listen, no, let was, this, this game, game was a bottle job. This, no, no, this game it wasn't. Game. It, this it wasn't, one game. It was just, this game was just a bottle. It's not a bottle job yet. Exactly. The next game, if you if you draw the next game, then you're a bottle job. No, 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 they're no. bottle jobs regardless. And I'll tell you why. I have to unpack so many things. United. Right now. So it's time for me to speak. Thank you, Vader. Thank you, Vader. Vader, what's the one talk. thing? You tune into all my watch alongs, Vader. First of all, I appreciate that. I think Vader is the only person I know that sits there from the beginning to the end. Uh, so big up to that. But Vader, what's the one thing that I say in every watch along? Actually, Marshall has a... a, a oh, oh my God, bro. I'm a joke. Oh my God, bro! We're a joke, bro. We're a joke. We're a joke. We're a joke. We're a joke. Embrace Allah, it. We're a joke, bro. Embrace it. Chelsea fans and United fans. Embrace we it. are a joke of a team. We're such a joke of a team that Marshall was able to make a a, a a recording out of it to put on his soundboard. He recorded me calling us jokes. I said it about five times in a row. We're a joke. We're a joke. We're a joke. That, we're, a joke. That, we're a joke. We're a joke. We just lost to Chelsea. We're coming in on a low, and we play you guys. One of the low. worst United versions I have seen in my life. Allowing, bro, we're allowing the the uh, we're sitting 19th in shots allowed this season, just ahead of Sheffield. A Thank team you. that, bro, I, I, this is what I say. We're, we're, we're legit jokes, bro. And you have one of the best front lines in the league, including your guy. Darwin Nunes, thank him. Please thank him for me for being an absolute bum in the game. You have Mohamed Salah. You have Luis Diaz. You have the Hungarian Jared. You have all these players that you guys hyped up. Hyped up, and you go now into this game. You get twenty eight shots, fourteen in the first wow. half. Fourteen shots in the first wow. half. Do you understand how big this number is? They had fourteen shots. No, das, I know Das. I know, but I'm, I'm elaborating why this is a bottle job. Because you went against one of the worst units. We had zero shots in the first half, Das. This one game is. This one game is, but the league is not. Das, 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 Das. You didn't beat us twice this season. Forget the first game where we parked the shit out of the Sad, sad, sad. Quick mathematics. Um, 14 shots in the first half would be one shot every 3.2 minutes. Continue. Bro, that's what I'm saying. It's a crazy 15, 14, whatever the fuck comes to saying. It's still a lot of shots. We had zero shots in the first half. Guys, let me tell you guys. I have uh, let me let me ask you this, Vader. Do you know who who uh, Willie Kambwala is? Huh? Yes. Huh? Do you know who Willie Kambwala is? I, who is he? I've only heard I've only heard of his name. When it's still a derby, Staffy. When we played them, it. no, 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 no. Hold on, that's, I understand. That's, I understand. I went in with an academy player who played like two I only, games for this I only know of his name you because I tuned in your watch club. I had Maguire and Willie Kambwala starting in my back line. It's crazy. I have what, there, there are, I have, there are like, no I keep excuses. Saying, koala. That's, there, there, I understand that. There are, there that's, are that's, no that's, just let me finish this. Let, let him cook, this. man. Let him let go. Me, let of me finish course, this. Of course. If I played Arsenal yesterday, wallahi, 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 they would cook me. If I played City yesterday, they would destroy me. 
I play you and you guys do that. This is why we need to call this a bottle job. Because, yes, I understand. I have some people saying, well, you never rated us from the beginning, Staffy. You said we would finish. Uh, nah, nah, nah. I don't care about what I said in the beginning of this season. The season went completely different than I thought. You guys have only two defeats this season, okay? You come into the worst United side that's allowing everyone chance. For fuck's sake, Marshall scored four against us. Marshall, who doesn't score goals, put four past us. And you got struggled against us. Mo Salah was on the pitch. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nunes was on the pitch. Struggled, struggled, a far, uh, struggled you struggled to put word. the ball in the back of the net is what I'm trying to there say. There you go. You there struggled you go. to put the ball in the back of the net when we're allowing you all yeah. these chances. This is why, by the way, I'm going to give club credit again. I've been it's giving club a lot of credit it's, recently. It's, it's, it's on club, the players. Let me tell you something. Club has proven to us that he is one of the best coaches in Premier League history. Not that it was already known. I say coaches, not managers, and I'll tell you why. This team has so many scrubs, and I'll confidently say that. And before anyone bitches and cries, I don't rate 99% of my team. So before you rebuttal, your garbage rebuttal is like, oh, stuff you look at you have in your team. I don't rate my team. So let me cook in peace. Robertson. Yeah, and you know what, Staffy? Staffy, you you don't even have to do all that. You don't even have to do all that. Because you know of your team and you pointed out how poor they are, you can just, you can rightfully call out what is poor. Because you no, witnessed bro, it in your club all the bro, time. So they they, they look like our, they're old, Kwanza, our older Kwanza brothers, was bro. was excellent besides the mistake. Kwanzaa, Kwanzaa was playing, scrub. Was, he was Listen, very good bro. besides that mistake. Bro, I don't care, bro. He's also I, I want to talk about Subos Lai. I'm not going to lie. I actually yeah, want to yeah, talk about Subos Lai. And I really want to be as objective as I can. But at the same time, I really have to cook this guy. Like, I don't like to do the banter too much. I really try to be objective as much as I speak. But, bro, what is the difference between this guy and Bruno Fernandes other than a better haircut and a, uh, a, a, and a better dentist? That's about it, bro. The guy is absolutely trash in your midfield. Mm. Your best midfielder is McAllister and Harvey Elliott when he plays. Curtis Jones look decent. This guy, bro, the fact that you guys spend $70 million on this guy, everyone has called him Sabunjbob or whatever in the beginning of the season. I don't even blame them, bro, because this guy looks so fucking poor, bro. Every time he likes to shoot so much, can never get the shot on target. And honestly, bro, on the ball, he offers nothing. He literally is your version of Bruno Fernandez. Maybe slightly less wasteful than uh, wasteful than Bruno, but that's about it. The same player, bro. And uh, honestly, bro, I don't want to dig into him too much. But what the hell was Muhammad Salah doing on the pitch? I heard everyone no, say, "Oh, you yeah, you don't you, want you, to." You, you, you know what it is, Vader? Because like he oh, scored yeah, so many goals against that us that if he, I say he, something, he people are gonna say I'm hating. He, he was wasteful against Brighton. He was wasteful against Sheffield. Yeah, so yeah but, but here's the thing, guys. As well. If De Bruyne does that, we're talking about it. If Saka does that, yeah. or other guys, you should. That, you should we're talking talk about, about it because because Mo yeah. Salah. Yeah. But no Mo one is talking about it enough. You know what well, it is? Hold on, does? hold on. Hold because on. he has enough credit in the bag that no one wants to point out that this is the clutch time this season. It's crunch time, and he's not delivering. There's well, no excuse that we're not. Well, 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 well stop it, stop it. Wait, 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 wait. This, this has a caveat, right? In front of goal, Mo has been incredibly wasteful, but unfortunately, he still provides world class service, and he's providing them to people who suck because he provided a world class ball to Luis Diaz against City, and then Diaz missed the one on one. He provided a world class ball has to been your best attacker, by the way. I know that, but he's been shit. Mm -hmm. Um, he provided a world class ball to Soboslai, and Soboslai missed the one on one. He's provided. 20 world-class balls to Darwin Nunes and Darwin Nunes has made like three of them. Okay. If, if, if he was surrounded with class right now, we would have a much different tone to it. Like in front of goal, he's been incredibly wasteful, but I also think age has something to do with that and the injury um, and frustration. Right. But ultimately speaking, because like, if, if he's providing all this world-class service and no one ever delivers, then all of a sudden it makes Mo think, I can't trust these other players, so I have to take more shots. And let's just be real. He might have had 12 shots, but were all 12 of those, like, really? Like, were they really clear-cut chances? No. He had, like, three really good opportunities, two of which were close to the goal. And the okay, other how about one your was... guy Darwin, then? Can you talk about Darwin? Darwin, because Darwin, you Darwin all stinks. along called yourself Darwin sexual. Darwin sexual. Right. Darwin sexual. Hey, hey, I'll talk allow to me. I'm, 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 I'm going to. I'm going to. Darwin, Darwin, first off, he he had an assist. It was a great header on to Luis Diaz. Outside of that, he was very wasteful, especially the – like once you guys equalized, I think it was two minutes after you equalized, we had a break, right? We had like a four on three. And then all of a sudden, the ball ends up with Darwin, and Soposlai is right behind him, and Onana is on the post. He's literally on the post. All Darwin has to do is – like you could back heal it, just provide provide yeah. any sort of any momentum. He's not a backwards. smart player. 
no 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 he he, no, he isn't not. but 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 the thing is is that right now there's no one else that you could put in that's healthy that that could even do that like i'm i can't put in cody Gakpo, and he does provide chaos and he does break the line sometimes and he does open up space for other players he just doesn't put the ball the in the back thing, of the net which is fine the one but, thing the one thing i would say he, he, was, he was shit he was shit yeah, if, if, if I can, the one thing I would say with regards to Klopp, and I, I do rate him, obviously he's had tremendous success, but mm-hmm. the way, the same way many of you want to kind of overly criticize Pep for being too structured and giving those instructions to players, I think that's where Klopp is a little too much freestyling and just go and express yourself. Like if Darwin knew, like, listen, if you're in this posi- position, look to do this. This is what I need you to do. All, not making him robotic, but just... Take away the thing. Vader, away but it's, from not, it's not coaching issue, Vader. I'll tell you why. I think it's just quality. He is, yeah. Nunes. 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 They're also selfish. They're also selfish. Diaz put him. Entirely he's entirely instincts. He's it's smart entirely smart. instincts. He's not smart. Diaz put, he it, to he he put it to him. Diaz put it to him on the on the far post on a plate. All he had to do was tap it in. Get it on target. All he had to do was get it on target. It went around uh, it across the goal. Yeah. It went across the goal. It looked like a cross. Like, you don't coach. And this is why I say this a lot. You don't coach final third quality. The manager's mm-hmm. job is to get you to the final third positions where you can actually start showing. And he did okay. plenty of times. And he, they did. That's what I'm saying. This is why I'll never blame Klopp for this. Klopp actually, and you're saying here, Vader, that like you want to talk about Klopp and this and that. The fact that Klopp got this team to a title race, I'm not going to lie to you. Hats off to him. Because this team, bro, I'm sorry. This team is nowhere near the quality of City. Like, I don't Arsenal's. think people understand how wasteful we are. Why are we like, doing it, this? In, no, in, no, in no, Vader, entirely... it's true, Vader. Just use no. your eyes, bro. Because wait, wait, Vader, no, 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 eyes, no, no, no. Vader, mm. Vader, if you, if you, if you put just like a, a, any striker in the world who's ten percent better conversion rate in the number nine position, Liverpool have fifteen. Bro, more Jota, Jota, Jota right plays. Now. You guys win this game. Yeah, Jota. Yeah. Well, well, no. If, if 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 Jota were healthy this whole season and he were playing the nine, I think that we would be, we would have nine, ten, yeah, twelve yeah. more points. Because would, because would, of the amount of chances so, that they waste, especially Darwin, and like I, I love him for everything else except his goal scoring, but unfortunately okay, that's what, what he's paid to do. So th- this is this is the only thing, I and mean, I I get the praise of Liverpool, but they weren't that bad last year. They shouldn't have been that bad last year. Yeah, they, they had a lot not, of injuries. They should last not have been, year. had a lot of injuries. They should not have been in Europa last season. Come on, guys. They had a lot of injuries. And the fact later, that that's why. They had a lot of injuries. That's why they were out of it. Yeah, yeah that's well, no. It was it, well, well it, okay. It, it it was it was a combination of a few injuries, but in reality, it was a completely aging midfield that had no legs, and really it was old, it was it, it, it was Klopp was still playing. Well, well, I mean, it was also Klopp trying to do the same thing. Every, this like he that, set up the same shit. way week yeah. week in week out. He didn't make any changes. He did before the World Cup, and then he reverted back to his old self. But regardless of that. I'm not going to say that Klopp is a fucking magician. Like, I, I do think that we underachieved last year. But at the same time, it's like, we've been so wasteful all season. Like, there are so many games I can point to where we probably missed eight, nine, ten clear goal cut, like, clear goal uh, opportunities. And if we just had a little bit of better quality in the number nine position, I, I think that this would be a wrap by now. But unfortunately, well, we don't. Yeah. And we don't live in those, we don't live in those hypotheticals. Yeah, what were you gonna say I'm that? just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say this real quick because you guys want to always remind me of my trouble season last year. The season that Klopp had last year, the year before that was their quad pursuit season, so their drop off was tremendous to be in Europa, and I think they've kind of come back. Yes, they've had injuries this season as well, just a little but bit where they were off. No, I, I know, but you know how how many of you speak to the city. It's very generic. It's very general. So I'm going to generalize Liverpool in in a way where you guys were lacking in the in terms of the midfield last season. You strengthened because the season before that you strengthened in your attack with regards to Nunez and and building that way. So I think you guys are Klopp is doing a great job, but it's not like he's not like you said, Mike. It's not magic. It's not magic, and I think he needs to kind of figure out. I think out it's magic, can... bro. I think it it's isn't. Magic. Listen, but the, but the okay. thing is, Vader, you you have like between me, you, and Dio, you have to admit that Liverpool are the weakest of the three on paper. They are one hundred percent between between me against you and me against Dio. Not to mention that, like right now, I have significantly more injuries than, than than Dio has. I have significantly more injuries than you have, and you know that the only reason why you're playing youth players is because of rotation and not out of necessity. Whereas I'm playing youth players because it's 
necessary because I literally don't have senior players to put onto the pitch, right? So just like the whole game, I understand it. People want to run narratives. I get it. You got to make content, but it's but it's like it's not narratives to put things, at all. You, you have you, you have to put things into perspective. Like nothing is over. What, what narrative did and, I and, run? Thus, no, 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 no. I'm 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 not I'm not talking about you. I was really more just directed at like all oh, of you. I was about to say because I I no, think, no, I, think I, I was very I, objective. I, 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 no, I give no, you I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm no, no, I thought you were saying we were running just, narratives. I was no, no, bro, no. I, I, I legit like, but, thought that. But, but, but other people are out here saying, oh, the race is over. Like, they bottled the league. Oh, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, dude, first off, you're just completely ignoring, you know, the beginning of the season and all of the context and all of the circumstances. And then you're also saying that, well, now that we're tied with Arsenal, it's over. Which, which means can that I, you're just assuming that Arsenal is going to be. Can I? 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 Just something. Um, I think one of the other reasons why Liverpool is getting all this slack is you have to remember that every single time Arsenal is mentioned, the word club knows how to win. Liverpool knows how to win. Arsenal has not done it before. It is brought up immediately. Like oh, when when you, when, you, when 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 you build when you build that narrative around yourself already, which a lot of Liverpool fans out there say when they build that narrative around themselves, it's now hard at this point. To begin to say, oh well, we do have injuries, and we, we people are like, well, no, 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 you you told us you know how to win, you told us, well, yeah, no, 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 you agreed, like, so, agreed, so certain certain where, individuals, yeah. So so that is where it becomes hard because I said the same thing. I said, of the three teams, right, you might be the weaker of the teams, but you also have the easier run. Even though your games are away, these are games that Liverpool should be able to put away, right? But like on with the, with. On, on, on a good the game. only well the, the, and, the only and, one that the, the Villa is the, really the only one and coupled, the and coupled with the fact that your players are going to be back in a couple of weeks a lot of your players are back in a couple of weeks so the next they should be back this week they should, yeah. they should be back this week yeah so the next few games you're going to have you're going to have a lot of your senior players back and these games are games that you should be able to put away because they're easier right so so my thing is just like the, the idea that oh um Liverpool is weak now because two weeks ago even with the youngsters when you won the trophy, it was like, yo, we can win, we can win the league with the with the youngsters. Have you seen our baby academy? A baby academy can beat anybody. This is this was a narrative being run by a lot of Liverpool fans. Not you directly. I never seen anything that you said. No, no, but, no. Yeah, but of you course. hear what I'm like, so when you hear stuff like that, it then becomes hard to say, oh, uh, you know, oh yeah, but we our players are hurt. Like, no, nah, but you said you could win with <laughs> with your 17 year olds. And you said Klopp knows I'm how to win. I'm saying they were winning. Listen, you want to uh, people do with kids, people do. you know. Yeah, so two weeks ago they were winning the league, but then they you were praising the kids, but now they're yeah. not praising uh, them because of the course, juice. Of course, of course. These are these are all very emotional narratives. That's why I don't tend to, you know, use my uh, analysis with, with emotion. I try to be objective. I I understand exactly what you're saying, and there are people who have to pay the piper because they were touting that you know, oh, I can win the league with Jaden Dance, but like, unfortunately. Arteta is strong, like Arsenal is strong, even if it wasn't Arteta. Like that team is still very strong and they know exactly what they're doing. They have the best defensive record. They have an excellent center back pairing. Like they get things done. You get Declan Rice, who is a 100 million pound Rolls Royce. Like you guys understand I, what you're doing. Oh, you got Manchester City, the treble winners, the three P Pep Guardiola. Their bench is worth more than like 15 of the 20 teams in the league. Like I, I understand, like, it's foolish of certain people to go on those rants and go about those things. And yeah, you know, you could turn I, heel and say, well, I, you guys weren't saying this two weeks ago, but mm -hmm. ultimately it is, it is objective. Like that, this, this is kind of like how the cards are. So here's, here's a good example. Like someone here, here says, people act like they cannot erase a nine goal difference in seven games. Liverpool score goals for fun. They still have a great chance. Even if both Austin and Liverpool win it out. And these are the kind of narratives where I'm telling them like, okay, so they can erase a nine goal. Um, a nine a nine goal goals difference in seven games. Yes, if Arsenal is not scoring, no, mm -hmm. that's assuming Arsenal will win that's, every that's game that, one that, nil. Yeah, exactly, assuming and we win Arsenal. and we win every game four nil, which is just not like, going to happen exactly. because we're, we're going away five times. But uh, I mean, so I would, so, I would... so, that, so so when people no sorry about this, I'm just like when people write stuff like that, I'm just like this is why you put Liverpool in the position Liverpool is in. Because you say mm -hmm. stuff like this, so that when people now, I'm like, well, okay, well, since you you have what it takes to go on a race in nine goals difference, that is a hard thing to do. If Liverpool were had nine goals difference on Arsenal, I would not be saying crap. I'd be quiet mm -hmm. because I but, know for the fact that all Liverpool needs to do is win every every game with two goals. Mm -hmm. If they win two goals in every game, that's seven games. What are we talking about here? That's fourteen goals. What can, this reaction thing is? Well, the the, the <laughs> only the listen the the very last point that I'll make is that. I guess the one positive out of all of this is that it's not my lead to lose anymore. 
So we've got we've got seven games left. Uh, I'm not in first anymore. They love um, shifting that pressure. Win, wait, 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 wait. But but also just to come who's, who's kind of back, lose? Just to kind of I, I mean I'm just I'm just being a, a fucking asshole. I, I don't think it's anyone's to lose. But I'm just <laughs> huh? just to, just to kind of wind it back to the beginning. You know when there was eight games left to play and the top, and the maximum was 94. I was very much on the train that I don't think that 94 points is. <clears> I think that's too high. I think it's going to be anywhere from 91 to 92 with the most conservative i think it's gonna be less than that because everyone's i think everyone's still gonna drop points listen which which is which is very possible but for me i was saying we could drop points in one game right we've dropped points in one game now you know the motto is still i go yeah exactly Mm -hmm. so now we just win all seven and like you know do i think arsenal is going to win all seven no but if they do that would that would mean what you guys won your last nine and if you win your last nine to win a premier league you know what kudos you to you i got, I got yeah. i've got i've got nothing to say like like hats off because that's uh, an amazing run but, but other than that it's like you know you have to like, this is sports you have to move like things happen people have bad games it is what it is but there's seven games left mm-hmm. and you know that you just need to win those seven and do i think arsenal's gonna win all seven no i don't and hopefully i win all of mine but if we don't and you do mm-hmm. kudos and hopefully i get the europa league and i'll have ruben amaram next year and edwards is probably gonna go, uh, sell salah for 150 million which means that i'm gonna get 150 million worth of players in and it'll be you know rinse and repeat on to the next so like uh, I mean I, I still favor Liverpool going and winning this. Uh, I just I need, I need, they have I need, reinforcements coming in. I need, uh, Jota's I need gonna come I need, into this. I need this Chelsea fan was gonna listen. Say. You could call it bias. You call it what you want. <laughs> I, I just have need, just I as just much need, of a rivalry. I just I just need that this Chelsea fan was going to come. Yeah. Like, I have just as much of a rivalry with Liverpool as I do with you. But at the same time, like oh, you don't. I, I just I I genuinely think they have reinforcements coming back. They have Trent Alexander coming back. Allison's coming back. Leadership in that defense. Allison is going to be out. Defense. Allison's going to be out for the rest of the season. He's really? Mm. But honestly, 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 I don't think well. you have a yeah, Keller, Keller, Keller has been amazing. And yeah, you have. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm no, no disrespect I, I to Keller. Obviously, I, I think that he would start for seventeen. He would start for every team except for City and Chelsea. Uh, Chelsea. And I get it. I get it. Chelsea may, may, still, Chelsea may be really good at next season. Not this season. Next season. Don't worry. Maybe sure, whatever. Uh, but you know, uh, Jota's well coming work. back. He's already in training, apparently, right? So Jota they have reinforcements. They have reinforcements coming back that I think can help them solidify with yeah. the goals and the attack output. With Arsenal, and not no disrespect to Europa League, but I feel like Liverpool don't need to put in as much effort and as much I can as they're get to 18. the final in two games. I can get to the final in two games. Uh, Anfield and Anfield. I, I, I can win five 0 both times, and I'm done. I, I think I think that with with Arsenal, their run of fixtures, they have to put their best teams out there. They have to. They must. With Champions League as well, I don't think they're going to give up on the Champions League just to win the league. So it, I think I would, there's going to be a lot of. I think there's a lot more output and energy coming out of Arsenal's side that could lead to a potential draw here or dropping of points there. So there you go. There you go time, right there. T- time will tell. Listen, that's fine. Let's hope you can keep that form up for the rest of the season. If you do, kudos to you. Deserve to win to lead. You deserve to win the league. But I just don't think I, it's gonna happen. I'll just, you still I'll have just, us to play. You I'll didn't beat think, us this season. I'll just you say, have Tottenham no, to play. Uh, like there's uh, tough matches. Call, look, okay, so okay, let me just do a quick breakdown for you, right? Fine, Arsenal has a lot of games to play, but Arsenal is the only team that has just one injury. We don't have any injuries right now. You know, knock Not on wood. No, no, that's what I said knock on wood. No, knock on, yeah. I'm saying as of now. So as of now, yeah, because, yeah. We still have the opportunity to be able to at least play in certain games, a certain level of rotation. If we play our first team against the Bayern and we come back and play Wolves, we can play a couple more players and rest a couple of first-team players and play them in the second half. They don't have to play the full 90 minutes. So with good rotation and good player management, we can see this through. As long as our defense doesn't get injured and we don't get anybody, any of our major key spine players. And when we talk about key spine players, I'm talking Saliba Gabriel, Ga- Saliba Declan Gabriel, Rice. Declan Rice, and Saka. On the, you know, as long as any one of those four key players are not injured, we do actually have people who can fit into certain roles. Good player management can see us through to the end of the season. Now, can we win both? I don't. I don't think so. When it comes to the league itself, can we win every game if we're pragmatic enough because we have the best defense right now? As long as that defense doesn't falter, I think we can. So all I'm saying is, even if you look at the definition of the word underdogs, right? That definition, the dictionary definition. I know, but but here's what I'm like. The dictionary definition of the word underdog is the person Mm -hmm. that has the hardest or the most difficult route to winning in a competition. Like the person with the least chance of of getting to that, of, of Mm -hmm. of that win. So of all three teams, 
we have the hardest, regardless of how you look at it. We yeah. actually have the hardest run. We have the, the least experienced coach. We have the least experienced players in winning the league in our team. Um, even though we challenged last year, Liverpool have done it before. City have done it before. So if you look at all these factors, the definition of what it is, is we really are the underdogs here. Yes, Liverpool is the is not the strongest team, man for man, talent for talent, uh, as, as, as you said, as regards to fitness and all that. But when you have your full squad, Liverpool is just as strong, if not stronger than Arsenal, man for man. If, if you're looking at your real no, full no, squad. you're stronger than them this season. On no, no, paper, no, no, I can no. argue what you're trying On to paper, say. No, no, no. What, no what, I'm what I'm talking about is if Jota, Jota, I would take Jota any day at the, at the top of the nine over any one of my nines. You, you see what I'm saying? Like, even Jesus. Jesus is always injured. So I, w I would take Jota over Jesus, even though Jota too gets injured. But my point is, if you're looking at, you know, form for form, yes, maybe we, 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 we peg you. Bukayo Saka is not Saka and Salah. Salah is better than him. So, like, if we're, look, if we're looking player for player, wing for wing, let's be realistic about mm -hmm. it. It's maybe in defense, yes, okay, fine. We have maybe one more defender or two better than theirs. Um, but if we're looking at um, um, right wing, we're looking at central, Van Dijk, Saliba. Saliba is great, but Van Dijk has more experience. I'll take, I'll take Van Dijk. So what I'm saying is, if we are going to go man for man, goalkeeper, please. If, if their goalkeeper is fit right now, Alisson and Raya. Like, 100%. Let's do Let's, let's be realistic. I, I hear what he's saying, so, though. So, so, all, so all I'm saying, so all I'm saying is that based off of that, you know, I hear the I, I hear the excuses. I hear the excuses of what everybody's saying, but it's almost like because Arsenal is doing so well in quotes and punching above their weight because Arteta is four and a half years on the job. He's punching. I, I, above I don't think so. I don't think you're no, punching no, no. over your weight anymore, Dyer. Yeah. I understand yeah. what when you're I, trying when to I, say. When I, when, I, when I say punching over my weight, let me explain what I mean. I am not saying that we should not be in the race. We should be in the race because we played well and we deserve to be there. We deserve to be in the race because we worked hard for it, right? But I'm saying last season, it was just the, ti the title we were going for. This season, it's the Champions League and the title. Ateta has never had to handle these two at the same time. So he's punching above his weight in player management, punching above his weight in how he's going to actually use the players, which he has never done before. And if he makes one, I, I understand. Listen, listen, I, I get saying. what you're saying because last year at this stage, you didn't get it right. So he's basically doing everything that he's done last season up to this point. Not always now he has to either. get it right, but which he mm -hmm. didn't last year. And I get that. I, Listen, there's so many reasons why everyone here is the favorite or everyone is not the favorite. And I hear that. City, I'm pretty sure if Vader was here, he would have gave us reasons as well. That's already gave us reasons. You gave us reasons. I hate this title race because I feel like a lot of you guys are looking for more excuses than reasons, but I hear it. Everyone wants to cover their ass. <laughs> no, true. Marshall, you see, it's everyone true. wants to cover their ass no wants instead to of chest. exposing too much. But listen, I hear everyone has very valid points. I, I'm, not, day, I'm, not, I'm not covering my ass. We are the underdogs and we're going to win. I'm just I'm just putting that out. I'm just letting them know. Like, Fair enough. The You're not the underdogs. I'm the underdog. Get the fuck out of here. You, 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 had, you, had the, you had the... You that's, were that's, leading let the me shout out. The, let me shout out everyone first. That you beat us, got to shout out first before you guys start fighting. You guys love to fight. You're coming to the Emirates. Chelsea, you're coming to the Emirates. Give, give your shout outs. Give your shout you outs. have Chelsea. Give you, shout outs. Give you come to Old Trafford. I'm not going to lie. I, I do think that's a potential banana slip. Not because we're good, but you've seen we're just a shit house team. We're just I, here to I, be I, I, pests, I, emailed, bro. I emailed I emailed Eric Ten Hag yesterday. We, we have a deal. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Stop it. You guys you, are not playing. You, you emailed, you emailed <laughs> yeah. this terrorist. That's yeah, this guy. Yeah, this guy. Yeah, you, you guys are not. You guys aren't playing for anything. So he's already agreed to throw the game for me. So uh, he and Listen, I had a good heart to heart. Sure. I might personally go. It was wait, what was that? Was that another? Uh, huh? No, me. <laughs> I, oh, I, I, I thought he had a clip of you too. I was Bendo. like, what the hell? no. Listen, no, I, I might do. go to the game myself <laughs> voice and score an goal if I go there. If it means that Liverpool or Arsenal won't win the league, but listen, big up Sanchez, saying big up the raid, big six men. I didn't even notice that, but big up uh, big six men for the raid. Listen, if big they up, actually just raided us. Uh, we are wrapping up in a minute, but listen, let me shout out like first of all, everyone. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I want to say there's like, over 100 people we hit here 100? right now. I don't know. Maybe, hopefully we did. Listen, if you just tuned in from Big Six Bands, first of all, big up months every time for the rate. And if you just uh, 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 tuned in, I do have some bad news and I have some good news. The bad news is we are wrapping up. The good news is you just hold the the, 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 the bar and just take it all the way to the left and restart the game. You can uh, game restart the show. You can start the show all over again. Big up Vader, who was game. here. What's that? 
You wish no, you would no. restart the games. If you don't no, like the no, video, the tr- that means that, that you want City to do a Fort Pete. And if you want City to do yes. a Fort Pete, I don't even want your like. So you, you don't just, like and I know, yeah, and I know Mark's clop to complete his story. His, his hey, final this is not Cody Rhodes. Let him, let him, let him, let him, let, let him, let him do his story. Shout-outs. Listen, nah, nah, nah. that's his story. He got dunked on by Eric Ten Hag. Your manager is about to leave the league knowing he has a, a, a huh? losing record, which is Ten Hag. So hold yeah, let's that. Not forget. And at if the you end of the day, like, that means you want Frateta to win the league. Listen, I hope this happens. Let me leave with this. I hope this happens. What did you call Arteta just now? I hope Frateta. Frateta. I hope <laughs> Arsenal. <laughs> listen <laughs> to this. <laughs> did you have Pocahontas there, coach? What is it? Pocahontas? What is it? What the fuck is his name? <laughs> What's his name? I, I've forgotten. I'm seriously like, what's his name? Flappuccino, Flappuccino, Flappuccino. 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 Oh, Flappuccino. Listen, you don't have to disrespect his manager because he already hates him. So it's yeah, okay. The one thing about me and Marshall that you never have to do is never, you never have to tell us twice that our managers suck because yeah. we, hate, we hate them. But listen, I hope this thing happens. I hope everyone wins all the remaining games left in this season. Oh, I got to read the super chats. Thank you, RSV, for reminding me. Well, the, the show's been yeah, over. Read the super chats. I'll read it before we go. <laughs> Please. Listen. At the end of the day, I hope they win all their games and then Liverpool lose the game, uh, the, the league. And the, the last game that they remember Fuck where you, they dropped points was you. against us, was against <laughs> Cody Mano, was against us in Old Trafford, was against Ten Hag. Oh, and I want that you. to marinate with you forever with us. So every time you said that stupid 7-0, 7-up no, joke to me, I'm, I'm gonna, all that 7-up shit that you guys said to me, I hope it was worth seven it when up. you don't win the league. And big thank you, RZ, for reminding me of the, the Super Chats. I'm sorry, because I'm not going to lie. My, my brain is fried right now. But big up uh, Nags Games, I would say that's his name. Big up saying stuff. I'm sorry, but Colin Kwanzaa Scrub is beyond shameless. He's the first uh, top flight. Se- uh, it's his first top flight season. Uh, and he's been so immense for us. It's one mistake. Fair enough, bro. <clears throat> Big up RSV saying, Big up Stuffy. This could be the, the, the when Man United bottled an eight point lead from the top after the 4 4 draw versus Everton and Old Trafford back in 2012. The Aguero moment arrived. Honestly, RSV, I don't know why you reminded me of that because you just opened a whole hold that. can of, hold uh, that. Can yeah, of worms. Hold that. Oh, Enzo that. would never. I, but we Enzo don't. We don't never. have time for that can of worms. So four, that. four, and yeah. all that shit. Listen, bro. I, that I, I could still tell you exactly where I was when that Aguero goal was scored, bro. I hate that fucking. I day was so sitting much. on my couch and I was actually cheering for it because fuck United. I don't care for you, Das. I didn't ask you where yeah, you were. Fuck doing. United. And funny enough, I was actually. Fuck United. Yeah. Bro, I rem- I'll yeah, tell you real quick. United. Fuck United. That day, I swear I had work. Die enough with the with the, the with the with the claps in in the fucking <laughs> shade there. I don't I don't I want to I don't want to see your shadow there, bro. I was legit. The United beat Sunderland that day, and I had to work in like ten minutes. I'm sitting there putting my socks on, get ready for work, thinking we won another league. Then I look at the TV and I see they came back. Jacko scored and the Guerrero moment. And I swear to God, bro, I just went to work. Don't remember anything I did that day. I just wanted to be sent oh, home. Oh my god, bro! I'm a joke. Oh my god, That's bro! Right. We're, you're a a joke. Joke, bro. We're, yes, a joke. we're a joke, bro. We're a joke. We're a joke. Read them out. Read them out. We're all jokes. Enzo walks into your team. Enzo walks into his team. Subscribe to both you guys' team. I'm the like underdog all here. Oh, you rather have Enzo than? Enzo, 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 Enzo,